Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we're going to be playing some Atari 2600 games. Ooh. Four of them, in fact. Let's put that over here by side, Bernie. Bernie, face the camera. There you go. Nice, bright. We've got two cats here and a Darcy. <laughs> Just one Darcy. Just we one. have two cats, though. Two cats. Uh, <laughs> only one Sprite and one Atari. Uh, that's true. So we're going to be ta playing today Minigun Miner. Uh, Tank Maze, Golf 2600, and Punch Out 2600. So all fighting. Uh, yep, except for golf. <laughs> Unless there is fighting in golf. There was a Ninja Golf released for the Atari 7800, where you would hit the ball, and then you would fight to get to the ball, <laughs> and then you would hit the ball again. Brilliant. People um, love that game. That sounds like the best version of golf yes. it's like strategy and fighting mm -hmm. yeah, it's great welcome everyone trey guy dan if you see alnifer uh i want to thank the twitch subscribers scrolling beside darcy alnifer arms car coder atari 800 xl rules atari 974 atari hbr pocock charleston mount charles wheel and chitla like colonel lamb crew neck line dan if you see dr moo cows gamma dev glane main great defender ground trooper ivory tower collection johnny wc carl g ken jennings vader crocker 2600 gewalt for lmb express learned z mark yeah and his mark space egg mcmuse mike solman cattel miss command mr zarno blue face fix muddy not muddy funster where's that name that i'm regularly Reading out Neomedia, Nostalgia, Coog, Arantuitz, Raymond, CRC70, Render Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pimps, Rod Castle, Six Sweet, Sledgehammer, Smitty B, Spice, Rare, Smears, Teleprompter, Tested and Rocking, T, K, Trek, MD, Vexer, X, VVG, Double Down, and you can subscribe as well, just like Rendered Ghost just did, and Alnifer did yesterday, and Darcy is about to. He's working on it. He's working on it. If you have Amazon Prime, it's free. You don't have to pay a dime. Um, we have a poll question. Let me get the poll question going if it's working, because it wasn't working last time. It is free, so, you know. Um, do the games you play on modern consoles have a retro aesthetic? And the answers are most of them. Some of them. None of them. Or I don't play on modern consoles. I know that you have played and do play at least some. Oh, for sure. So the ones that I the ones that I've played. PCs count as modern consoles. Yes. Let's just, let's include Steam and stuff like that and itch and. Um, for sure. Yeah, because you play that uh, underground. For sure. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh, we're we're I think echoing. That's very low. Uh... Yeah, low ping time. Um, oh, thank you to Drexel for subscribing. <laughs> 27 months. Uh, that underground one that uh, you've talked about before that I always forget the name of. Noita. Noita. Yeah, Noita. I mean, it's, it's got a retro aesthetic. Obviously, a lot of the new games have... It's more complicated than what you see. There's like... Yeah, yeah. 3D-ish kind of thing. The graphics There's are definitely particle, pixel graphics. Particle though. physics. The particle that. physics in it, it obviously you can stretch your computer actually, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. If you crank it all the way up. Um, but like graphically, like it's all large pixels. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's yeah, not yeah. using up the yep. resolution of your screen. It's not 3D rendered. It's 2D. So so what the retro aesthetic would I would think is, it's 2D usually or you know, two and a half D. Um, it's got large pixels, um, not using up the full resolution. Not even close. Not yeah. even close, yeah. yeah. So that kind of things. Does Civ 1 count as retro? Fission Superstar X is also clearly in that category. It's a 2D, big pixels. A yeah. Civ 1 is not a new game. Like, I'm, I'm talking new games. Like, within the past couple of years come out, you, I mean, when you say retro, no, you mean a, like oh, no, 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 16-bit, sure, yeah, or Be maybe 8-bit before or 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a 2D pixelized kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. not wireframe, not you yeah. know 3D-ish. Thank you, BR Pokop, for subscribing. Yeah, so, pre-3D is a good. That's what divider I, because yeah. because even though it's not connected. It's like a different it's, metric, but it's... It's a totally it's, different look. Totally yeah. different aesthetic. 
There's rotation. It was not a, 2D. a very short period of time where there was 3D and not improved graphics. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, the first gen 3D is like PlayStation One and 64 uh, kind of era. Depends on what you call 3D that. too, because like Duke Nukem was two yeah, and a half D. That's or whatever. two and a half D. Doom would be two Quake. and a half D. Quake is 3D. Quake is 3D. Hundred percent 3D. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doom is two and a half and duke nukem is basically like a, a doom yeah iteration that's a two and a half yeah. as well elite that there are 3d games on older systems elite is a good example that yeah. was on a commodore 64 and that era and that's like actual 3d like there's rotation of your ship yeah. rotation in space i mean we had yeah. a certain 3d and ultima one and two uh, yeah, in, in a way, yeah, yeah, but not really. <laughs> um, I I do play, just like you. We both played Baldur's Gate, brand new game. That's yeah. that's not a retro aesthetic, but I would. It say is a retro aesthetic. It's just not <laughs> graphically retro. Uh, yeah, it's, it's no, it really is like D &D. like the the uh, oh, it is definitely a retro aesthetic. It's annoying how limited your field of view is. Bec and it's that way out of following the rules <laughs> I, of that type of game. I, I do move my zoom. Yeah, but I can't look the up. Oh, that's annoying. That might that makes me nuts. But <laughs> I just it's not a it's not a, a deal breaker, obviously. But like the reason it's like that yep. is not because it was hard for them to make you look up. It's because that's those are the rules. Yeah. of that type of game there there like you have to go overhead and then it doesn't it still doesn't go up like yeah, you have no fight. control of up and down it's i was just... in a fight yesterday and there was a goblin mm -hmm. up on a rafter yeah, yeah like probably two it's at least one level probably it was more like one and a half levels up yeah and i i just could not look up at it yeah and it and when i did it would look like it was floating in space yeah so yeah there's limitations to that but most but, but it's like my point though i'm not complaining about the game so much as just saying that it's like that because yeah. that part is retro it's yeah. like the yeah. old school Baldur's gate and not just mm. Baldur's gate but that type of game it's yeah. it's limited and you played old Baldur's gate i didn't so i don't know the lineage of that yeah yeah it's it's pretty similar i don't think you could rotate your view at all in the old Baldur's. i'm not 100 oh, okay. sure but i actually i'm I'm real close to sure because that would require them to create a whole lot more mm. stuff, right? My answer is going to be most of the games that I buy or play on modern consoles are retro looking. I can only say some. You would say some, you'd give it a two. I, I can't, I can't say. Um, I totally did not just subscribe. That's what happens to Darcy too. He'll subscribe <laughs> and it's when he logs in next is when it triggers. It's, it's very strange. <laughs> yeah that's right i have to uh uh pcs count yeah. as consoles modern yeah. gaming systems let's say yeah yeah um so we'll take a look at that in a second yeah i definitely so, play you play a lot of 3d a lot of yeah i mean i play different games yeah yeah they're not all it's a big, all retro big mix but, yeah yeah because you have a vr as well and yeah. those that would be a waste <laughs> having retro well you could have retro aesthetics but they'd still be 3d unless you're yeah, like yeah. looking at it on a virtual screen and playing retro games yeah um you could play retro games inside another game and that game is 3d but the retro one is like on a virtual television i've seen that in games yeah i've seen that in games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't know what you classify that as it's kind of both at the same time <laughs> But the full yeah, I think game. The, I think the game in the game, unless it's unless it's part of the game and not a Easter egg, is yes. just a separate game. Yes, that's yeah. right. No recursing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn recursors. <laughs> um, most of the fifth annual Atari Homebrew Award trophies have now Meryl been mailed Bay. out. Oh, Meryl oh thank you, Rented Ghost, for gifting a sub to Prow Seven. They will be very, very thankful of you, uh, and I thank you as well. Um, so the, uh, I posted this yesterday after many iterations and delays, the trophies for the fifth annual Atari Homebrew Awards are done and on their way to the, all the winners. Tandy did a great job on them and we hope people like the new design and customized trophies now individualized with names on them. So there you go. There's a, that's definitely, um, kind of a, 
artistic That's definitely look. <laughs> a, a big bonus to have, be able to put the name oh, on them. And... Yes, because before I ordered them beforehand, so yep. I would actually yeah, yeah. have them. Mm -hmm. But then I couldn't put the names on them unless I sent them back, paid for shipping there, paid for shipping back, and then paid again mm -hmm. for them to do something, stencil them on, acid etch them or something. Uh, it was for tonight. No wonder nobody's here. That's weird. Let's go see what it says. Extensions. My extensions. Uh, that one though is fine. It says noon. Unfortunately, I have to change it in two places. Anyway, it's too late. Um, <laughs> um, I'll fix that after. Um, and also, of course, whenever you take photos, um, cats get involved because they want to be the center oh, of attention. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, people can't see it. Uh, that would help. There you go. Um, so there's the original photo. And there is the cat. Meow. The lighting is so good there. Oh, something went bork. Oh, my God. Something did go bork. that happened. Where's my mouse? <laughs> it's pretty funny that they're talking about it and I saw it, but I was like, you didn't register. I'm, oh, I'm sure back. it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. We are back ish. That might've been just a temporary hiccup. Because it's like full speed, no problems now. Okay. Uh, bonus cap. No, the poll is not closed. So um, you can still vote. Let me um, post that again so people can know what it is. Just in case you missed it and came late. There you go. There's the poll. Um, bonus cat. Yes. So uh, here are the trophies that Tanya made. They're on their way to all the winners. And there's a bonus cat photo because cats love to get whenever, whenever I'm taking photos. They're like, what are you doing? What is happening? Oh, Something's happening you've, and you've cleared, I'm excited. Yeah. Can I be involved? You've cleared off this, this area. For me. For, this is a perfect <laughs> cat spot. I'd like to lay right there. And I'm like, oh, okay. Sometimes it turns out really well because I've got nice lighting set up and the cats just sit perfectly and it's, they're all lit up. And I'm like, oh bonus opportunity because you, you could never want, make them do that yeah, that's exactly yeah. the point i was gonna make <laughs> if you set it up for them it's like i'm going to take cat photos it's all of a sudden you have 20 blurry photos of cats turning their head running away it's like if totally you want useless. a cat toy for your cat what you need to do is order a box that happens to have a cat toy in it yes and then maybe they'll play with the cat toy instead of the maybe. box but 90 percent, it's going to be the box like yeah. we tried to get cat beds <clears throat> over the years many many times zero they're just not interesting cat beds boxes sitting beside us on the couch being on the bed yes but no the yeah. box cat beds are quite good that would work, yeah. yes, because they love cardboard. I don't know, yeah, it's yeah. the texture or something on their paws. It's sort of like, you know, the scratch, you know, like, it's the ones that I'm talking about are like the scratch pad. Yeah. We, but they were shaped like a bed. We've, we banned those from the house uh, yes. because they just make a royal mess. Like, the point is scratching them up. And when they scratch them up, <clears> little <throat> pieces of cardboard go everywhere. They do love them, but it's just not worth it. Look at those cats staring at you. So cute. But they're like... So like, cute. They can see a sucker when they... <laughs> they're like, will you feed me? When they're in but, the room. But uh, one of the winners I can't get in contact with. They haven't been on the Atari Age forum since February 11th. It's Phantomas. Um, winner of the Atari 8-Bit 5200 Best Work in Progress for La Baie de Moore. And even their um, collaborator collaborators on the game haven't heard from them. Uh, Mike, uh, Michelle Gu. So if you are in touch with Michelle Gu, um, please, um, let me know or let, uh, let them know that I am looking to send a trophy to them because they want it and they deserve to get it. Um, and I hope they're okay. Next news item, EJAG Fest in, yes, cookies for me. Uh, uh, except all. Oh kind of understand German a little bit there. 
Um, European Jag Fest 2023 is back. E Jag Fest take play on, on October 21st and 22nd in that town, uh, between Dusseldorf and that town in Germany. We celebrated the 30th anniversary of the Atari Jaguar this year, which has been released in 1993 in the USA, and we're going to be playing a bunch of Jaguar games on its actual 30th anniversary in November. We're going to run through every single classic. Nice. Jaguar game. So we did that for the 2600. Luckily, yep. there's not 500 of them this time, and it won't take weeks and weeks and weeks. <laughs> uh, European uh, Atari Jaguar Fest is non-commercial, regular festival for all Atari and retro gaming fans from all over Europe and the world. It was established in the year 2000, and the focus is, of attention is on Atari and all systems of the cult label. This is translated. I don't know what that actually means. Uh, but we don't want to miss other retro systems as well. The more exotic, the better. The motto is bring your favorite retro console and have fun. So sounds like a good time. goes over two days. So if you're in Germany or near Germany or planning to go to Germany in October, <laughs> there you go. Maybe for Oktoberfest. I'm not sure when that is. Oh, I think it's pretty early because I was in Oktoberfest in 2003 in Germany. And it was around my birthday, which is early October. So I think it's uh, fairly early, but might change. You never know. Jag Fest sounds like a gathering of Jag Offs. Maybe. Depends on the person. Could be. Could be. Bunch of Jag Offs. Be enough people together, there's going to be a <laughs> gathering of Jag Offs somewhere. <laughs> That's right. in the mix. And they'll find each other. Or they'll find you. <laughs> um, uh, another competition. Well, that's not a competition. Uh, but this is a competition. Uh, there we go. Um, Star Bars Atari 2600 Music Competition, very interesting, is now happening. All the entries, the entries are closed, and now it's time for voting on them. Aleski Eben posted this. All competition entries are, are now here, and voting will close on September 9th. There's both PAL and NTSC ROMs in the zip, and um, they are, the voting is on this page. Um, why is it at 80%? Probably need it even smaller. There we go. Standalone competition. Uh, you vote on this page, so you need to log in on the CSDB, it's Commodore page, because these pieces of music were actually made on a Commodore. Oh. The, ga the, the program to make the music is on a Commodore, and it can export Atari binaries from the Commodore, and then That's you can awesome. use it on the Atari. It's crazy. It's so good. Um, and there are about 10 entries. So we're going to take a listen to a couple right now, because you're able, obviously able to download them to um, play them. So let's switch over to the Atari. Darcy can randomly choose one. Whatever sounds the best. So go to 0901. Enter into that. And go to Star Bar's entry. And we'll take a listen to whichever one Darcy feels like. Uh, NTSC, if specified. Not, just, not PAL. What did you do? Math error? This is one of the best tracking programs to result I've ever heard for the Atari 2600. Like the music sounds so good. Yeah. For a 2600, for a TIA. And it's only using two voices as well. It's because it is um, pulling the. Not pulling, but writing to the audio. Writing the audio information many, many times per frame. So a lot of the times with Atari 2600, you don't have time to do that um, unless you're oh, using yeah, yeah. like an arm chip because you're busy with the rest of the game. Yeah, yeah. there's there's a lot to do, and, and audio is like not Whoa. as important because <laughs> you got to move things on the screen and stuff. Does it go bip? Yes, it goes bip. Good enough. Good enough. It goes Whoa, bip when I shoot it. So this dedicates a lot of its time without using an arm chip. Um, to doing the audio. So if you're actually going to use this in a game, it would have to be a very, very light game um, to be able to use this in something. 
And the, and the person who posted it said, oh, it might be good for a title screen or something. Where something is static and you don't need to do it in a lot of calculations. Let's listen to At Darcy's random choosing. At Ready. Random! <laughs> so random. <laughs> random with removal, please. Chemature by F. The added bonus is that you get little, uh, little bars of uh, music telling you what, uh, what channel it's using. Because it takes a lot of the time, but not anywhere close to all of it. No, because you can see it is drawing at least a bunch of things. Yeah. Um, using one of the uh, player characters to do that down the left. It's probably using uh, background to draw the colors, and then using, um, whatever. It could be using a ball. Uh, ball. Uh, yeah, it could be using a ball, um, or, and uh, one of the missiles to do the colors on the side. Uh, or that could be a um, play field. It's possible. Not both play field, because they are changing the colors. And not ball and play field. Either ball or play field and one of, them, one of them or the other player very, 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 very awesome music so uh, be sure to go vote on that um, if you have a login if you don't you can create one maybe I don't know what the rules are <laughs> but go read the rules um, so the highest CSDB score is the winner uh, uh, except if there's not enough votes for all six entries, so CSDB can calculate their magic weighted score. Then I'll calculate the simple average score for all the entries, and the highest equals winner. I don't know if there's trophies, or you just get a pat on the back, or whatever, but uh, winning is a reward in itself. Right, kittens? Oh, yes. They're like, treats are a reward in itself. They're waiting. We're getting to that. <laughs> a reward is a reward in itself. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting to that right now, actually. Um, we have a new betting app for the Bell Wars. People suggested last time, because we were doing fake betting, because people were going, oh, it's going to be Atari, it's going to be Sprite who are going to win, and they were just putting the names in, in the chat. And somebody said, oh, I bet there's, or they, they've seen betting apps on uh, Twitch before, and I'm like, well, I'll just go find one. And there is one in Streamlabs. There is a betting app, and I think I haven't been able to test it because it only works when you're streaming because it needs actual people to vote. But all the things but the voting seems to work. So we're going to test it out now. If somebody wants to trigger treat time, uh, that would be great. And then we can do treat time betting. Streamlabs desktop. Yum. Oh, yum, it's yum, treat yum. time! Yum, yum. There's channel point prediction built into Twitch. Yes. I think that might be this. <clears throat> so clear the clear the area here. Get the bells out. And I'll explain the rules. There we go. I'll get the bell. Oh, I'll get the bells. You get the treats. Are you ready, cats? Okay. So let's start the betting, because we have to do that beforehand. So I'm going to, yes, start up the betting. So this is it. Did it work? Maybe I missed. CF to CSRF token mismatch. We're having a, a cat brain malfunction mismatch, too. They're like, what is happening? The bell wins, and it should be time for me to hit the thing and get the stuff and put oh, it in my face. There we go. Okay, betting is open for who will win Bell Wars, Atari or Sprite. And uh, what you do is you go exclamation mark, bet, then type Atari or Sprite, and then how much you want to bet. And I believe they use channel points, so you only have so much. And how it works is either... Atari or Sprite win, mm -hmm. and and uh, at the end of the the race, the, that'll happen, and then oh, RC seventy is going in big, <laughs> it's going all in, and it takes the pool. Has Atari been doing better lately? Is that what this is about? Because uh, like, Atari's just a short while ago, it would have been a sh like 
100% win race. Well, you'll probably sprite. get more money if you bet on Atari because... Oh, does it have odds built in? You've you already factored kind in? Kind of. It okay. has odds built in. It has two pools, mm -hmm. and you're putting yourself in one pool oh, or the other. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So three people are betting Atari. So, okay, so it, it somebody does, does standard, need to buy like, bookie big thing, Somebody yeah. needs to bet on Sprite. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Because if Atari wins... <laughs> 26 if atari wins yeah the money will just go back to the people yeah. right if sprite wins all the money will go to that what go to prow 7 right yeah, now yeah. so there the odds are that sprite will win but atari is due and all, <laughs> Cats are like, to revolt. like it seems as though some people are giving away their points just for <laughs> naming yeah i convention I, <laughs> Which is fine. They're your point. They're your point. You can do that. Atari seventy eight hundred. Atari twenty six hundred. Okay, the cats. The cats are primed. Okay, they're more than primed. They're like. Let's get the uh, get the reset the point zero zero. Are you ready, cats? Are you ready? To ding. Okay, let's go. Get to your bells. Oh, Atari's off to the races with one ding. So those. Oh, Sprite gets a point. Otari is on it today. Some people knew. Some people knew. <laughs> Ooh, I can I can I close betting? Uh-oh. Nobody bet anymore. It's already started. Okay, three, two. Oh, was that a double ring? Yep, they both got oh, it. Oh, I missed it. Four, three for Atari. Atari is still ahead. Oh, it was a slight ding from Sprite. He gets it. Four, four. Atari is still leading. Five, four. Yeah, no more betting, please. Betting's closed. Sprite, five, five, six, five for Atari. It is rapid, rapid, accurate bell ringing. Is that? No, that's too soft. There we go. Oh, Atari. Atari's very accurate today. Yeah, seven, six. Oh, no. The, oh, eight, six. Oh, my God. Was that a ding from I Sprite? didn't hear, but I was yelling. Come on. Come on. You're going to make a ding. Oh, there we go. He's so soft. Nine, seven. It is game point. Sprite going to get one more in? Nope. Oh, he just makes it. Nine, eight is game point. Tari, you going to get yeah. it? He gets it. It is ten, eight. It is over. And let's see how this works. Okay. So, ten, eight. Final score. Uh, then I go and I close. Oh, I can close betting. Okay. So I should have done that. <laughs> but nobody bet. You're all very honest. <laughs> Good stuff. And Atari won. So I get to pick the winner. Oh, what? It didn't work. Oh, no. Why didn't it work? Like it was not registered. It shows it it shows zero bets on there. Yeah. yeah. It it was talking to the stream. Yeah. It announced in the stream, but it wasn't getting any of the votes. What is happening? Like the bot is in there. Oh, can you open the door? It's so hot. Instantly like raises the temperature five degrees in here. Is it case sensitive? Um, I mean, you guys did it exactly right. And it says lowercase Atari and Sprite. Uh, do you need to put the num name and number in? I doubt it. That would be very dumb. Let's, let's just do a fake one. Let's start it up again. And we're just going to have one person. Ivory Tower Collections, if you could just um, actually, we'll get Darcy well, have to everybody, do it. Have, have everybody your do it, but just like keep your bets to like well, 10. No, because we want to keep it even so nobody loses. Um, okay, so that didn't register. So try... What does it say over here? A capital A Atari, capital S Sprite. Oh, it no, but it says... It says... Uh, beside it, it says exclamation mark bet atari oh so i don't know let's try with capital a 
Yeah. See, Ivory Tower Collections did that, but that didn't register either. Okay. Try Capital Atari. Everybody just bet on Atari, because that way it'll all just go back to you. No, no. It's counting up here. I don't think I need to refresh. Seems like a thing that wouldn't need to refresh. No, not working. That broke the on-screen chat, too. What? <laughs> uh, HTML entities? No, that's not working. Um, put the, like, I, I, it has it in brackets. I don't think that's correct, but you can put regular brackets around try with the whole thing. brackets and capital A. Like Ivory Tower Collections yeah, that's, did. That's just, I mean, it, yeah, that's it's so doubtful. That it's going to think that it would uh, yeah. acknowledge it. Yeah. I mean, in the example, it says lowercase, but... Uh, oh, it says lowercase. Yeah, yeah, it shows it there. Yeah, to register your bet. It says use bet. Oh, and it does show brackets. It yeah. does. So try it, uh, try it with the brackets with a capital A. Yeah. Darcy, can you do it? Nobody's doing it because there's a delay, especially since it lagged. You should also refresh your browsers too. <laughs> refresh your streams because the lag is probably bad because of because of the um, problem. Oh, not those brackets. <laughs> those brackets. So try it with the uh, capital A. Uh, so I've seen the Streamlabs uh, type betting in other channels of brackets. So some reason it is not talking back to Streamlabs. Streamlabs is talking to the chat, but it's not getting anything. Maybe I haven't um, given it permission or something, but I don't. Uh... Oh, I need to mod Streamlabs. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It just said something. Mod Streamlabs. It's my fault. Okay, now it's now it should be good. Okay, now somebody just do it normally. Um, bet Atari something without brackets, just a normal amount. Darcy can do it here too. I may have to start it again. Let's see. Cause that didn't didn't work. Okay, we're gonna close the betting. Uh, we're going to cancel that one. We're going to start the betting again. That seems like more... Oh, no. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. The modding worked, but it's not registering anything. Granted moderated privilege to Streamlabs. Yep. Do I need to refresh? Ah. <sighs> The annoying thing is I can't test this unless I'm streaming. Oh, uh, yeah. It's not working. Grrr. Throttling got me. Oh, sorry. Uh, mod stream labs again. He's already a moderator. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to look things up. And um, try it again next show, I guess, because it's not working. Sorry about that, guys. That would be very fun once this starts working. Okay, I'm going to close the betting. See, betting's been closed. And it shows that they are verified and a moderator. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, we'll get that working. We'll get that working. Next show. I'll look up some things that to try for next show. Or maybe I'll try it at the end of the show. We'll see. Uh, if it's easy to fi find things. Okay, let's go back. Boom. Okay, the results of the poll. Do games you play on the modern consoles have a retro aesthetic in first place? Tied, some of them, and I don't play on modern consoles. And in second place, most of them. Third place, none of them. So everybody seems to like retro aesthetic, which is not too surprising. <laughs> betting has been cancelled everyone was refunded refunded never take anything to pay away to begin with you gave zero and we refunded zero <laughs> mm -hmm. there you go 
So the first game we're going to be playing is Mini Gun Miner. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is super cool. And why has this not been noticed in the Atari Age forums? Nobody mentioned this in the Atari Age forums. It's on itch.io. It was part of Retro Game Jam number six. This was posted in May of 2023. It came in third place in the competition behind two Sega Genesis games and in front of uh, a bunch of other Sega Genesis games and uh, C64 games, um, a bunch of stuff. So it did really well in competition with much more advanced uh, consoles. So here's Minigun Miner by Dr. Ludos, ranked third with nine ratings, a score of 3.821. Uh, ranked number one for platform usage, and uh, it is really, really good for the platform. Theme number two, it got second place for theme overall. It got third place, game design, fourth place, and fun number ninth place. Well, who knows how, mu how much fun the other ones are, but I think this one's really fun. Um, so let's load that up on the 2600. Is it, um, are you a rocket ship? You're a rocket ship. <coughs> Um, propelled vertically by your bullets by your bullets and I've seen other games and I have a game upstairs that is like this and I just couldn't figure figure out the name of it I, I ran out of time to go look at it upstairs um, like a minigun or gun gun something I actually didn't when up? I said rocket ship I did not actually think it would be a rocket ship <laughs> I thought just that the movement was rocket ship like except your gun is the engine okay yeah so it, the fact that it is a rocket ship is uh, well, let's see what it is minigun miner is a unique digging game uh for the atari 2600 home console using a minigun dig holes to collect buried treasures coins diamonds rubies but be careful or that happens <laughs> Uh, to never touch the ground, or you'll explode. Thankfully, each time you fire your minigun, the recoil will send you flying into the air. How to play. Hold fire and shoot to fly up to dig holes. Move the joystick while holding the fire button to aim in any direction. Uh, move joystick left and right while the fire button is released to move left and right. Uh, there are items to collect, to earn points, and enemies to avoid. Uh, lose the game. So you want to avoid that one. Looking for a challenge. My personal record is 42 points. Can you beat my high score? And about the game... Ah! Oh, you got one point. Uh, about the game. The game was created for the Retro Platform Jam number 6 in about 3 weeks. It uses an 8K cart with super chip RAM to display 32 by 32 destructible playthrough. Programmed with a wonderful Batari Basic and its in-depth documentation by Random Terrain. I thought like the vertical scrolling screen, uh, the graphics of like kind of dig dug, colored ground, uh, the randomness obviously of the game as well. You can shoot. Uh, have you shot sideways and? I can, diagonal? but this is more certain. <laughs> it is more certain. And I'm I'm guessing as you go low, you will have to dig sideways. To get, or what? To get coins to the side, right? Not if you did not if you <laughs> just de don't destroy strip everything. mine. I'm a strip miner. <laughs> my father was a strip miner, my grandfather was a strip miner. Uh, I'm a strip miner. It saves saves you from <laughs> uncomfortable chaffing. <laughs> That's right. Chaffing. 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 Whatever. I, I pronounce it chaffing. <laughs> <laughs> That's how my dad pronounced it. That's how my grandfather pronounced it. Strip Miner 2049er. <laughs> that could be uh, one of two games. <laughs> um, could be about somebody uh, digging or somebody taking off their clothes. Strip. Uh, but then it would a, be called dressed strip as a mining. Mine. <laughs> strip Miner 2069er. <laughs> yes, it would be. It would be. Admit it. Yep. It's obvious. It's too obvious of a name to not use. <laughs> a 
and you are working with gravity. You can't actually propel yourself up or down. You can shoot up. You can shoot up. And to the side. Um, that's... But shooting up oh my God. causes that to happen. Yes. Causes you to just... It does... Oh, actually, shooting up does propel you down. Yep. Does it? Yep. Or not. I don't think... I don't know that it... I don't know that it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. Never mind. Uh, but it does mean you're not... You are. You feel like you're propelling yourself because you're shooting. You seem but you're not because you're shooting up. <laughs> and it doesn't help you go up. Oh, say. I see. It doesn't. It doesn't. It only propels you when it shoots down. Okay. Only. That hadn't yeah. been clear to me yet. So you don't get propelled left or right. You move left and right. And you don't. <laughs> it is hard. It's hard to dig left and right mm -hmm. when there's gravity happening, and it gets strong. Oh, oh, oh! Diamond. Go back up. Go back up and dig down. Doesn't scroll up. It's like. Uh, Super Mario Brothers, mm -hmm. first one. That's why you have to do it right away. I think that might be a bomb that's going to explode when you touch it. Uh, was there bombs? I don't think there was bombs. That looks like a shot. The glowy, flashy thing that was moving. That's danger. Right. And this has a similar color to that. Why? What is happening? You know, know. You can't touch the ground or you blow up. That's what's I happening. I think... There's some weird no, gravity that, happening. No, it's that you think, because you're pressing the button, that you're propelling yourself. This is what happened to me. Right. Ah. Uh. You get this idea. I press the button and I go up. But if you turn the joystick <laughs> to the side, it doesn't do anything except <laughs> shoot. Yeah, that's right. So you can't just... You have to kind of go up and then side. Yeah. Uh, okay. Have to make sure that things above you are cleaned, though, when you're going to the side. This is going to be... Challenging. Oh, I, I know what to do. Okay. Shoot on the way up. Yes, exactly. provide a lot of thrust quite quickly when you do go down when you press down okay. you have three points hooray top score <coughs> of the session Let's scroll down a bit more okay it's over there mm. you gotta get this one this time I want to know if it's bonus extra points or ah. if it's ironic explosion. Oh, bonus extra ooh, points. Many is. extra points. Many. Oh, that's good. Five points. <clears throat> I, I, I'm having trouble it's with It's literally the worth many more points. Many more points. Literally. <laughs> literally. Still wrestling with the controls. Not that they're bad, just that I'm not used to them. <laughs> Especially the ceiling. If there's nothing up top, you don't die. But if there's something that you hit above you, you will, which is obvious. Yep. Them's the rules. Oh, thank you, Vitoko, for keeping score. Bad scores. But scores nonetheless. Oh my god. <laughs> what did it propel me down when I hit it? Like it felt like it was like No, it's just that you it's like you neglect the down <laughs> yes. and you and you are literally doing the thing to go up. But you're also doing a thing that keeps you from going up, which is having the joystick point in some other direction. <laughs> That's what I think is happening. I don't know. I think so. And once you get close, you really are... Once you get close uh, enough to the dirt, you really are going fast. Right? That's right, because I'm not pressing the button to go down. 
And this is tricky because you have to scroll down in order to dig a safe enough hole. Yeah, to navigate. To, to, to actually have a space. <laughs> to, to dig to, more. To, to not... Because uh, you're going to be hitting that not constantly. Not Ninja Starred. Is this that Ninja Star Golf game you were talking about? Yeah, Ninja Golf 7800. Or just Ninja Golf on the 7800. Okay, I think I'm not safe. But... Ah! Yeah, no, it's... it's it, Having that thing there completely changes... Oh, that was within a pixel? The circumstances. Dig very slowly. <laughs> ah! Too fast. Thrust would like this game. Oh, he's here! There you go. This is for the seven, uh, 2600. Yes, that is correct. A thrust-based game, answering thrust? He was answering question, yeah. He oh. was answering someone else's question. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I think I see some gold peeking out. Yeah, yeah, looks like, looks like. I didn't get a diamond, though. I'm just struggling with gold coins oh, this time. Oh, muffin! <laughs> I know. I don't think you're supposed to get it. diamonds. It's 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 definitely rarity. Random. Oh my god. And that's kind of cool. Okay, let's start digging over here. Oh, oh, this is good. I can uh, hit on, stay on the ceiling. Let's dig, 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 dig. Let's just clear it all out because it's. Come on, no, don't fall, but don't go over. On the coin. There we go. <laughs> I thought it was like impossible <laughs> to get it. It's like, I will die if I get that coin. That's not good. Ugh. <laughs> oh my god. Gravity seems to get really quick all of a sudden. I know it doesn't. But no, that is how gravity works. <laughs> it gets quicker. It's an really acceleration. Quick. It's not a velocity. <laughs> That's right. It gets quicker and quicker. What? It's acceleration. I don't understand physics. I mean, the acceleration doesn't increase. You know. No. You know. No. You know. No. That's you. called, I watched a video on it recently. Um, when acceleration increases, it's called jerk, I think. Jerk? Yeah, You're that's like, the one step jerk. above acceleration. <clears throat> it's like velocity, acceleration, jerk. And then there's another one as well above that. It's, it's the meters change per of, second per second? Per, per yes, second? Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's the rate of excel uh, rate of change of acceleration yeah. is jerk. Second game today? No, we're still in the first. This is the first. A little bit of news and. Uh, but the first, uh, it's the the it's the second program though. Yeah, we did show off some of the music that you. Um, I mean, you were pro posting about it, so you were aware of that Mu music competition. With the uh, twenty six hundred tracker on the C sixty four, played a couple tunes from that just to give some. Give people an idea. I mean, we've he talked about it before. He can't shoot on Diangle Ivory Tower. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's just that it's no, it doesn't give you any propulsion. No, it doesn't. Oh, or does it, it does. Oh. oh, too confusing right now. I'm used to this. <laughs> used to sideways. So you could... Um, Kill things on your way up with the side acceleration if you wanted to. Please, a diamond! I'm trying to beat the high score of the developer. It's not going to work with just getting gold coins. Definitely a random element to this game. Yeah. The betting did the, not end up working, no, it unfortunately. Work. Yeah. It's very close to working. Um, but it's, it's just not reading the bets for some reason. I might have to set something else up um, that I neglected to find, but because I can't run the program without 
streaming. I couldn't test it beforehand. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, uh, it's this game is interesting in that it um, the randomness. If you're playing for score, mm -hmm. the randomness of what you get seems like it would be a huge factor. I mean, you've been working way harder this game than you did the first one. Yeah, and, and I you have the same score. You just, <laughs> just reached thought. that same score, and you've had you've dealt with like way more challenges. Oh, this is the... F did I did I pass one of these guys in this game? Yes. Okay. So this is the second guy. This is the... Passed. Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the game in which you cried the least. <laughs> um, <laughs> and also, if you notice, when you explode an area, it explodes things around the dirt, too. It's not a one-for-one, yeah. one, which is awesome. Um, because a lot of games like this just deal with, like, oh, you shot the one dirt... And, yep. and it takes forever to dig through it. What happened? I don't know. Uh, I was like press holding down the button and I didn't move. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe this... you could watch the video later and uh, see. Uh, doubt it. Um, because the button takes over. Like I was pressing to the right and then I pressed the button. I don't know why it didn't accelerate. Oh, okay, okay. I must have pressed that. With that side? Over to the right, yeah. That's that's what I did. That's my assumption, yeah. That Not specifically the right, but just right. that. All it takes is for the joystick is to go... Of right to it's once. like the difference between the joystick being a little bit to the side or down is the die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's right. Um... Run out of bullets. I mean, that would be a very interesting game dynamic to have to collect bullets as well and be um, aware of that. You'd have to provide quite a bit of bullets. This is almost that that um, cross there spinning around um, reminds me a lot of Yar's Revenge, where you also have to shoot out blocks, but it's sideways. And the enemy, the Quotile, looks like that in Yar's Revenge. Is there, are there... Uh, there's no gravity, though. No, no gravity. I, I you're get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Just those two things. No rewards. Why? I really have to learn to let go of the joystick to um, accelerate the climb. Upward. Yeah, yeah. Okay, figure this out because I've got nothing else to show. There we go. It's really weird that Dr. Ludos didn't post this in the Atari Age forums. He is part of the Atari Age forums and has participated. Thank you for following. Who followed? Darcy? No, I can see it on the There's a the um, list of things that happen in the game. Mikhail 3000. Thank you, Mikhail 3000. Mik nope, that's Mikhail. not it. Nope. It says it's new right follow. at the top of the activity feed. It says new follow? Or new no. grant, uh, new stuff. I talk? mean, that's that's on the screen, but oh, okay. there's a column right beneath that in the um, program that says activity feed right in the middle. There. It's tiny. It's far away. I know. K-I-R-3-J-I. -I. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how to pronounce that. <laughs> uh, don't bother. <laughs> I hadn't gotten there yet. I hadn't gotten to the There's... don't no, don't bother. <laughs> you are obviously correct, but I, it takes time sometimes. Yeah, yeah it, it, numbers to are numbers are hard to pronounce. Unless you can change that to an E. Kira 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 G. No. Kira G. <laughs> Glad you enjoy what we're doing here. Shooting dirt. Shooting dirt. We're dirt farmers. Farming dirt. For coins. For treasure. Buried treasure. 
Who put all this treasure here? And how am I able to see the treasure guessing, through the dirt? It could just be, uh, you know, like minerals. Oh, could be. Mineral deposits. And you're mining, uh, you know, asteroids or whatever. Yeah, could be. And obviously I'm able to see through the dirt. Um, so I've got some sort of um, radar. Is able to separate out dirt, which is a real thing. Um, see things through dirt. Also, I can't see them too far ahead, which is also right accurate. Two points! Oh, this work! Yep. And all of a sudden, it feels like gravity goes nuts. Uh, I'm going to do one more. I know it's torturous. <laughs> going to be even risky. Oh, at Go least you get speed. a gem. At least you get a second gem. <laughs> yeah, pretty quick. Well, a coin. I want a gem. Oh, yes. Okay, yes, you are correct. I may have used the wrong naming mechanism. <laughs> I apologize. Beg for Please forgive me! Please Apologize to me. the chat. Apologize <sighs> to the cats. <laughs> okay. This, this, this is very fast. I should employ this uh, strategy a lot more. It does leave little stragglers, though. Because it explodes the dirt, like, kind of around it, but then around it is, like, one left. It's gonna, yeah, it's going to be. Left. Of course it is. Of course it is. I just need to let go of the joystick to go up. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Dying. Uh, oh! I can't shoot it and I can crash into it. But ah. I'm confused as to why you'd be able to shoot up if you can't shoot it. Yeah. Is there some part of the game we're missing? Like That's a uh, bug, bug, buggy, a little bit buggy. Cat. Kariji. at the chat. Kariji. Kariji. Ah, it's in a ka. Kir, Kariji. Sounds Japanese. Physics are nicely done. Yes, they are. Just getting the handle on the controls is my issue. Ooh, another one right away. Ah! You know what? I think I am like pressing, holding down the fire button is like sending me into the stratosphere, and I don't want to do that. I think I'm wasting bullets because each bullet is not taking out a piece of dirt. I think. When I'm doing rapid fire. So I think there's like a reset time. Yeah, this well, is much faster, like one bullet at a time. At least for me heading down. You definitely shot uh, up that time. I yeah. wanted to get the dirt above me. Okay, okay, this is hard. <laughs> this game is hard. Yes, we did uh, We did a uh, whole intro on 2600 plus a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's too bad it doesn't have an AV out. But, I mean, it's meant to have an HDMI out. There you go. Let's move on to game number two. That was a sad showing by me. Uh, six points total. Um, I don't think I, it was a sad showing. I think it's a hard game, and I think you did pretty good. Highly recommend um, checking this game out. Um, next game is Tank Maze uh, for the 2600 as well. This is an update. We have played this a couple weeks ago. Uh, it's an 8K game done by Bob Montgomery, V-Dub Bobby. Um, so, load it up, Darcy. Please, if you could... 
Tank, tank maze. maze. Yes. So, uh, aiming for a very loose port of tank battalion. Control plank, uh, player tank with joystick. Press reset to start and cycle through mazes. Minotaur. Why does it say Minotaur? Interesting. Press the button. So you are the yellow tank, and I believe you're protecting your flag, which is that thing at the bottom. Um, and you want to shoot the tanks and don't be shot. So update since we last played it, which was on March 25th. Oh, did that flip the screen out? Did it, want, did it go like that? Oh Let's no, see. I died. You died a... Got 650, 660 points, 665. Are you getting points for them shooting the maze? Get 200 points for them. Um, so, June, July 12th updates can start game with joystick trigger. Yay, couch compliant. Enemy tanks don't always spawn from the top of the screen. It's now 8K. August 18th updates, fixed enemy tank movement routines so they don't go through walls or reverse directions, except when necessary. Yeah, going through walls is a problem. You will now die if you run into an enemy tank. Yeah, don't do that. Change score font to something more military-ish. Yeah, you see that. Uh, added title screen fanciness, still a work in progress. Yeah, because it says Minotaur. Probably need to change that to Tank Maze. Um, unless it's going to be called Minotaur. Uh, edit, also working on stabilizing scan line count. Oh, they kill each other. Oh. Fools. It's all... Stella can fake bad video if that's important to you. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, on the 2600 plus, um, you can break into Stella and then, you know, add, add it so it looks like uh, RF. All jittery. Um... And make it look bad too. Right now, it's a fairly stable at 271 scan lines. The game. Nice shooting text. Uh, August 24 that updates. Updated enemy tank respawn routines. Doesn't say what. Updated player tank respawn routine. Player to enemy collisions now result in both the player and the enemy dying. So you can see on the bottom right how many tanks you have to go for this level. Run! What, what happened? He shot you. Oh, I didn't see the bullets. Uh, they're very tiny. I only see my bullets. Uh, only my bullets are any good at killing uh, stuff <laughs> in my uh, uh, strange world. And August 31st, uh, from this is what this that we're playing, a couple days old. One day old. Some bug fixes around enemy tank respawns cleaned up level transitions. Oh, you're in level two? Did you win? Uh, level three? Level three. Oh, four. I've oh, won three, three of them. It's in the bottom. Level four. And you have... I'm going to start out. Seven times two, 14 tanks to kill. Yeah, it's always better to shoot them while they're moving sideways or away from you. So they can't fire off a shot. Yeah, it does look good. It's good. Uh, lots of enemies on the screen. Oh. Yeah, there's a little flicker there. I don't know what caused that, but... Uh, fiddled with enemy AI movement routines. Number of enemy tanks to kill starts lower and then increases to a maximum of 20 over the first five levels or so. And um, it is tile-based, right? Yes. You can't be half a tile. You're gonna get shot. Oh, you didn't get shot. <laughs> Three more. One's on the screen. Reminds me of Robot City. Yes. Very reminiscent of that. Except Robot City is... Oh, there is a little flicker. Got shot. Yeah, I, I saw it coming that time. and. Uh, how do you know how many lives you have left? Because uh, there's, there's a square, but it didn't seem to disappear when you got shot. Oh, Darcy's done. He's conquered the game. Oh yeah, it's very different from Robot City. That's um, not non-destructive mazes, right? Yeah, the level is five there. You're being very aggressive. Am I? Yeah, I'm gonna kill these guys. Destroy them. Yeah, but you're like, um, 
your strength. The, the which oh, is fine. Oh, look, they're down the bottom now. wonder if that's because I was on the top. It is. It has to be because they never did that to me. Well, that's very bad to go on the... Uh... Oh, but you know what? You're not playing level one. You're playing level five. True. And maybe that's a thing they start doing on level five. Could be. I'm going to go up again because they're still spawning the on last the top. One. I'll go up in the next level. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a good chance that they... It makes sense that they would spawn away from you. Yeah. So it's not, it's not a good move. Because I was just going to go, oh, I'm going to go to their spawn points and destroy them. <laughs> but their spawn points can be... I, I don't understand what they're trying to do. Like, they don't seem to be trying to get the flag. They don't seem to be, like, actively trying. Kill five more of them. And you can fire two bullets. Oh, total. At a time. You can fire one. And they're killing each other. And they fire slow. Your rate of fire is when you press the button. And their rate of fire is programmed in. <laughs> it has nothing to do with you pressing the button. Which is a weakness for them, I think. Two, yep, yep. I mean, it is. You have to have, because there's so many of them, you have to have some sort of advantage. And your advantage is two fast bullets. Oh my god. No, no! Stay away from my, my glowing flag orb. Thingy. Glowing flag. Teal flag. Come on. That's right. Walk into my line of fire. Welcome to my game zone. One more. I love the uh, little tank representations on the bottom right. Font's good at the top. The random mazes are good. Um, the way they emerge onto the screen is awesome. Yeah, and the fact that there are three, and that they respawn, but that it's not how many you kill, but also the number of tanks is tracked. So when you only have two left, only two will be left on the screen. They don't, they don't have three on the screen at all times, and then it ends when you killed enough of them, if you know what I mean. What just happened? Are they ran They shot each other, maybe? Oh! Yeah, it it like, might have been the last two in the show. I don't know. They both fired on each other. Yeah, I didn't see that. I was like, there were two, and then there were zero, and I didn't kill them. I found a loophole. Ooh, oh, uh, maybe I did. Thrust, we're pretty sure that that's the flag you have to protect. That and guy, yeah, I agree. Like, if it... They should be acti more actively going after it. Yeah. It's like, putting it in the middle would make the current sort of random movement more of a threat. Um... But having them go after it would make it like. I found a. Well, if, okay, having them go after it might. You oh yeah, yeah. You can, you can, yeah, you can. What do you call it? Spawn camp. Yep. Look at my score. I'm shooting nothing, and it's going up by. Well, because they spawn, Look. they Look. just spawn, 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 spawn. Yeah. And I don't kill the last two. Yeah. That's that's. That's a bug. Look at this. That feels like a bug, because uh, what, oh, what I happened? was saying before is that according to how it normally seems to work, they don't spawn a new one when there are someone... That... Do you know what I mean? Like, when you get down to three, they don't spawn anymore. No. Normally. So I don't know what was going on there. Is the, hey, the, there's a definite spawn point at the top left. And if you just keep firing on it, you actually kill them off screen. Like, look at this. Yeah. They're not even on screen. Uh, but going. I think you are killing them as they spawn, like yeah. the moment they spawn. Yeah. But there's also a spawn end point on the other corner. Too. And then, but I can kill them right down to zero when there's still two on. And that's that. That's, that's what I'm. I mean, the that you can just sit there and shoot yeah, their spawn point is uh, it's a huge. Problem. It's a bug. Yeah. Um, I don't know what can be it, well, done it's, about Well, it's a that. flaw, not. It's yeah. not a bug. It's, it's a, just flaw. a flaw. But the the fact that the you can keep killing them even when there's guys on the screen seems like that's a, a bug. bug. Yeah. Because that those last two should be the last two there. Mm -hmm. You just showing off your pretty eyes. Oh, you and your pretty eyes, huh? <laughs> Hi. 
You got Mookie colored eyes. Oh, those are the colored eyes that the Mook had. And also you can you can just sit here and wait till they come into you know, face the direction. Uh, come into your area. The good news is that the only complaint I have about it is how the bad guys behave. Not they're not the, going not the for game. The flag. Not the actual game. No. But like just tweaking what's already here. Everything that's here is good and it just needs to be like if Darcy here's a here's here's just a rule of thumb, you know, if Darcy can get to level five the first time he plays it, your game is too easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're 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 pointing out problems, but we gotta find solutions. Um they should be, more, yeah, more I think thrust, if they shoot when they enter and they're invulnerable for a couple of seconds. Yes. So, like, you can't sit there. That would solve it completely. Yeah. Invulnerable. But even then, yeah, if they shoot, then you can't. Yeah, see, there's something up in that corner that I'm shooting. What? Okay, watch this. Now let me get it down to one. Yeah, this is I, I I agree about I agree with your uh, assessment of uh, yeah. getting it down to one. And then I'll show you what I think you I got to kill that greenish one. It just went right on your flag. Yeah, so that I don't know what that is then. Maybe it's future use. Like, it's going to be a flag. Okay, okay. we're down to two. No, down stop to one. it. Down to one. Okay. No more spawning. But now shoot the wall. Okay. Yeah. Something is weird up there. It's registering as an enemy. So that's why so that's So it's not happening. even spawn camping so much as spawn? killing the spawn point. Yeah. There's a this spawn This is very point. delicate. It's very delicate. <laughs> that's right. Um, and it's only when there's two, two people on the screen. When there's all three, that's not a target. You can't do that. You can't just kill the spawn point and yeah. use it down. Okay, interesting. So that that's a bug right there. Um, invulnerability when they come on? Yes. Yeah, that part still needs to be there because even if it didn't, even if you couldn't do it the way you are doing it, you still could spawn camp and have the same effect. So making having some solution to spawn camping. Uh, More entry crucial. points. Like it's always in the top left that yellow tank or a tank comes in. So it needs to like move down the screen or. Come anywhere along the top. Yeah, would, would more places too. that it could be. Yep. Um, and immunity, or something. Um, and this, I, I'm guessing this is going to be a flag that you need to that they you need to protect. Yeah, in, I did see a future. tank touch it and do didn't seem to have any effect. I'm going to let one touch it and maybe shoot it too. Like I'm going to stay right here. Oh, I have to open up the walls for them. They can't shoot walls, can they? Yeah, they can. Okay. Yep. They shoot each other, too. Oh, it can shoot the wall. Okay. I want it to... And it shot the wall behind but it, my I feel flag. like... It, yes. I, I feel like it, it doesn't shoot walls so much as shoots sometimes. And then if there's a wall... It shoots at other tanks and me. <laughs> It doesn't shoot. Oh, yeah, it's because it shot, saw that other tank and yeah. it, it was shooting. It's weird that they're going after each other, too. It's kind of? Kind of going after each other? See, that one's trying to shoot me. But what did it shoot there? Weird. I mean, it's good that it does have random shots. It feels a lot more like, oh, they're trying to do something. Well, the thing about random shots is that they're sometimes like it's a it's a different type of danger that you can't uh, no, account no. for <laughs> when they just shoot randomly sometimes you get shot because you weren't expecting them to shoot when there was nothing to shoot at so that bug area did it go away when they can yeah there was two on the screen it's only it, it's only when it's registering as a spawn point. Like I can go up here. Wait. Oh. I mean, it makes sense that it's connected to the spawn point. Yeah, but the spawn point is registering as an enemy. That's an issue. 
see, now it's not working. But where's the... Let's... Oh, let's play Find the Spawn Point. <laughs> so I can finish the game without... Oh, wonder if I go down, will the spawn point change if I'm down at the bottom now? Stop coming after me. Yeah, it changes back something. up to the top ones. Okay. Don't come down. Try to do something. There we go. Now move out of the way. Good. Don't move back. No. Okay. Just shoot him and get him out of the way. No, I'm trying to. Uh, no, it's not. It doesn't. It. So it didn't. Oh, it's. Oh, no, it worked. Not Some died. Completely something. Where did I shoot that did it? Is it here? Is it here? Oh. Anyway, the, the, the developer will know what's going on here. Why? Yeah. Why shooting that uh, works as a spawn point, uh, as a as a tank death. Very interesting. Um, it has a lot of promise. These yep. do fix some bugs. Um, I really think they should be more homing in on that flag, if that's part of the game that they're trying to emulate. Um, not directly homing in on, because that's too boring, but like kind of working their way there. So you do have to kind of protect something, and that would be like a death for you. Also, there's no lives yet, I don't think. Oh, no, I don't think it should be a death for you. I think you should lose. Lose completely, like the yeah, whole game. You got, you got, you have tanks. Maybe you, maybe. maybe that's the only thing that keeps you from losing. Maybe you uh, have unlimited tanks, but like maybe, yeah. Uh, and dying costs you time because um, because because you gotta like get a new tank. Oh, maybe train a new crew. And but that's fill what with we gasoline. <laughs> that's what we do. We find bugs on this show. When we're bug, can. yes, bug hunters. Okay, you ready for the next yep. game? It is Golf 2600 by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land. Mr. Prolific himself Atari makes Hot dozens Club. of games a year. Ready. Um, this one actually is from a little ways back, but he picked it up again. This is originally from uh, 2016. December 7th. Um, and what he said is, uh, while I was asleep, I dreamed I was making a golf game for the 2600. Weird thing to dream about, I know. So I thought, in my sleep, once I wake up, why not make this a reality? I didn't want to get up yet, so while asleep, I thought about what could go where. Stuff like that. I got up, rushed to the computer, and a few hours later, this is the result. A little putting mini game. He's advanced it since then. Uh, press and hold fire to build up your shot, then release fire and watch the ball roll on the green. Don't know if I should make a golf game that uses this putting. What say you? Okay, so jump into the game. Okay, so there are uh, eight positions you can be around the ball. And it will, when you're there, when you're there, it'll go up at a 45 degree angle. When you're there, it'll go straight up, etc., etc. So there's 45, and you have to hold down the button. There you go. Oh, you made it onto the green. Same rules apply here. So December 9th, 2016 update. Uh, made a golf fairway, sort of like the Atari version of golf, um, but better. There's an out of bounds border, so be careful where you swing. Almost. There you go. Oh, water. Uh, if you get close enough to the green, it switches over. Oh, are you in the water? On the board. Oh, it made it onto the screen. Uh, August 9th, 2023, picked it back up again after uh, seven years. I changed and fixed some stuff seven years long, uh, later. Why did I come back to this? A request on the 2600 hacks about somebody wanting different holes for the original Atari golf game. This is uh, currently impossible. You can't putt towards the hole. Oh no, are you on the edge? You can only go up and down along the edge. Or off the... Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no, are you sure? Yeah. Try one more over. Yeah, nothing. Are you sure it's just not drawing it that way? I am not sure there, of there, anything. There, 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 there. There you ah, go. It just okay. can't draw the guy, and it pushes it over. 
I mean, there's another solution to that. You just don't allow the ball to go all the way over so that there's room for your guy at all times. Ooh, look at this one. Now, are you gonna hit it across the water with super powerful shot? No. Nope. Oh, all the way. Oh, no, won't make it. Um, ball directions change to hit the ball left, be on the right side of the ball, etc., etc. Diagonals are allowed too. Just move the joystick in a circular direction. I may change it and use the paddle controller. Hmm. Has driving controller support gone in BB yet? Oh, I wonder. Yes, I know there's been a golf game for the 2600 made since then. I just wanted to work on mine and chase the boredom away. And then August 30th, two days ago, uh, Crazy Chris asks, do you always make the final putt if you let go to full power? Yes, perhaps I should change that, but I don't know how I would. In the meantime, I changed a lot of stuff to make it better and added a third hole. Well, you could, um, if he hasn't done it already, I don't think he what? did. You weren't on the right spot. Apparently. Is that you could register when it hits the hole what the, oh my God, <laughs> what the velocity of the ball is or how much more distance you have to go and then go, if it's above it's this, go past the hole. Oh, you didn't do it well enough, I guess. It's like, do it again. Oh, 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 on the edge. Oh, you're in the water. <laughs> Is that, there's the diagonal. There's the diagonal, I think. Oh, well, that's good. Uh, edit, I changed the way you putt. Edit, I changed the look a lot. August 31st, 2023 from yesterday. This is a brand new update we're playing from yesterday. I made putting like hitting the ball long distance. I also I got rid of this. Oh, bullet. it's a mystery, mystery hole. <laughs> That's going to be difficult. Uh, do you remember where it was on this one? That's probably why you're repeating the same hole. Because it's broken at this point. Maybe. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hidden hole. Makes, <laughs> makes this level very hard. It's very difficult. <laughs> Invisible. Uh, we need some like fairy fire or something to... In order to do this, the... I had to make the, uh, move the club to the other sprite. I tried to make it look like the guy is holding a club. Oh, it works. Uh, okay. Now, how do we do this? Just keep hitting it left and right across the screen. Is that not enough? Until a ball, uh, until a hole is hit. Up. <laughs> up. No, that's too far up. Is it this way? Oh, that's very far. Is it this way? That seems too far down. Let's go up a little bit. You have so many points. I'm winning. <laughs> oh, wait. Golf doesn't work like that. <laughs> Highest score in golf ever. Hmm. Maybe not. Well, you know what? If it uses a, a hardware collision, this is impossible. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it does. Probably does. Because why not? Well, that's the way to do it, isn't it? Um, yeah, if you can get away with it, use that because it doesn't use up extra resources in your programming. You just—it's also isn't it, it like hit? the most elegant way to do it? Uh, depending on what game you're making, it can be very elegant. Sometimes it causes issues, like. That but doesn't it sometimes cause issues to not do it that way? Uh, yeah. If yeah, you if so. your programming isn't perfect, it's like if your boundary box boundaries are not right. Yeah. I want to play this. So. Do it. Do it. Nice greens. Okay, so I need to kind of go on an angle first. Not too much. Oh, oh, nice. Okay. Now, now because I'm at a diagonal, I have to go either a diagonal, and then right, or, or right, right and up, and, the, and then up. So, is there any point to do diagonal? Mm. Not at this point. 
Let's see if he got rid of that bug of hitting it as hard as you can into the hole. Nope. <laughs> you can hit it as hard as you want right into the hole. So if you're lined up, you might as well. Oh, is that too hard? Yep. Wow. Very close, though. Oh, my God. Oh, I did it. This is the last hole, possibly. Seems to be here. Yeah. That's programmed so far. Oh, that's not good. Nice. Let's hit it as hard as we can. Hmm. And again. This doesn't seem to go very far. No! No! Can't you hear the song? <laughs> Can you hear the, the, the timing song? It tells you. You've gone too far. You did just as many notes as the previous one. How could that possibly be right? <laughs> Get your stuff together. Wait. Oh, we needed to put tape on them. Oh, it was above the zero? It was about there. Okay. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a uh, yeah. hardware collision. Yeah. Although this... Uh, the thing that's different this one. is that um, I felt like the dimensions of this were not exactly the same. This hole? But this one worked out exactly the same for you, so. Yeah. I probably just hit different strengths. Okay, it was like up just a little bit. What? What was that? I didn't even... Wasn't close enough to the ball. No, it's too far. But not far, just a little bit. No. Ooh, dipping lights. That's not good. It's right around here, isn't it? I think it's it's up up a right, it's just a up, a book, straight up from that. there. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think. <laughs> I don't think I don't it's think gonna it's work. Yeah. He may have not programmed this hole yet. Want to get it in the zero? Uh, hit it hard. Hard right into that wall. Oh, you can go down here. It's just the left and right it has difficulty with, right? So let's go to the right, see what happens. <laughs> Ooh, what's happening? Is it going to wrap around? No. Oh, it's just bouncing back. Okay. Yeah. okay let's go to the left again. See, the right hand side's fine. It, it keeps enough room, so it needs to do that on the left-hand side now, still. Let's just test again. Yeah, it goes too far. So then when you go around... And doesn't bounce. It wraps. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't bounce on the left, so that's another thing he needs to, to work on. But he's, he's got it really, really close. Um, yeah, this hole's impossible. I don't know if he knows that, or if it's just like, yeah, I'm not done that yet. Because it didn't say how many holes there were in his listing that he's made. No idea. So, looking forward to an update on this one. We'll play it in the future for sure. I'm guessing he's going to do 18 holes. Um, that seems natural, if there's room. So here you go. We're going to move on to the last game of the day, which is Punch-Out! 2600. Um, but first, we're going to take a look at what Punch-Out is for those people who've never played it in the arcade or on the NES, which seems highly unlikely. Highly, highly unlikely. There we go. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! This is for the NES. Uh, Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! aka Punch-Out! is a boxing game for the NES developed and published by Nintendo in 1987. When it was first published in the United States, it was known as Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! But it was later re-released as Punch-Out! featuring Mr. Dream. It's a part of the Punch-Out! and Super Punch-Out! arcade games with some variations considered among the best games released for the NES platform. Punch-Out! features a boxer named Little Mac, 
working his way up the professional boxing circuit, facing a series of color colorful fictional boxers, leading to the final fight with the real life boxer, then world heavyweight champion champion Mike Tyson in the original version, and then he was replaced. So characters, the little Mac faces a total of 14 opponents. Three in the minor circuit, four in the major circuit, six in the world circuit, and Mike Tyson or Mr. Dream. All character sprites except King Hippo are reused for two characters each with changes made to colors, head, and special moves. Mario has a cameo as a referee. Three opponents from the minor and major circuits reappear in the world circuit and the new attacks with new attacks that force the player to devise a new strategy. Oh, thank you. I will switch the card graphic. Thank you. Cart graphic there I made for the 2600. So, what we're going to be playing is a demake, honestly, of the game for the 2600 that kind of follows the NES game. Um, doesn't have as many opponents, um, but I'm gonna. I it, it's a puzzle game, Punch Out. Puzzle action, but mostly puzzle because you have to know when to hit the other people ah. and how to defeat them by using using the timing by avoiding and punching and punching in different ways. So this has a limited set of type of punching. Um, so we're gonna have to work within the confines of how this game works and figure out the strategy. Um, features five fights, Glass Joe, Piston Honda, King Hippo, Great Tiger, and Super Macho Man in this game. Requires 2600 to play. So left and right is dodge. Left and right. Joystick fire is punch. Oh. And then hold joystick up to perform a face punch. So there's tells, like in this guy. He, he moves back and then forward to punch. And then you gotta dodge. Nope. Wait. It's not straight up boxing. It's a pattern. So you have yeah. to wait for him to punch and then dodge. That's not killing him. There, and then punch him. Oh, big punch. Oh, he's almost got you. There you go. You lose. The way the way you know you lose is that your health bar gets punched into the stratosphere. <laughs> That's right. It gets completely reset, wrapped around to 255. <laughs> okay, try it again. All right. So you got to wait till he backs up and then dodge and then punch him. There you go. Punch, punch. Oh, it didn't dodge. You have to time the dodging. Now. There you go. Oh, too slow on the punching. Not getting them. There. There you go. Nice. And that backup. One where he backs up. Let's see. Then he would jump back and to the center and throw a hook. If you land a quick jab or body blow as he jumps back into the center, you will knock him down. You can TKO if you time your body punch. Oh, you almost got him. One more. Thing is, like, I'm moving. Got him down. No, he's supposed to go, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he is, but that was just a small one. We well, got back up. How come I don't get to get back up? Because you haven't been punched down yet. Oh, yes. On this game, you I think you just die. I don't think you fall down. You have to punch him when he gets close on that one. And you'll knock him out. Seems pretty accurate recreation of the moves and counter moves. Yeah. I don't think the screen shaking is intended. Oh, oh you're still alive. Oh. 
Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you need to help me. This first guy's Glass Joe. So read out all about Glass Joe. As you might expect, Glass Joe is the weakest opponent in the game. He's an older boxer who never had any success and doesn't know when to quit. He won only one of 100 fights. Only the most <laughs> novice players may find it difficult. Hey! <laughs> may find it difficult to defeat him. As his name indicates, if you hit him with a star uppercut, it will put him out instantly. Glass Joe's opening pattern is simple. He will guard his face or body, and if you hit where he is not guarding three times, he will switch his guard. He will attempt to throw jabs and the occasional hook if you let him, but keep pounding and he won't get half a chance. If he blocks a high shot, switch to low and vice versa. Keep the pressure on and he'll crack under it. If you punch him in the face while he is winding up for the right hook, you may earn a star. Mm -hmm. His special move is the taunt, where he jumps back and taunts you. Then he will jump back to the center and throw a hook. If you land a quick jab or body blow as he jumps back into the center, you will knock him down, or you can TKO him if you time your punch. He didn't do that in my fight. Okay, we need to know about the next person, so I won't die. Okay, so here's a question. Yeah. Up is face. Up do you have to button. go down to do a body shot? So what's, a, what's the difference between a jab and a body shot? Well, this is going to be a much reduced... Those are not the instructions for this game. Those oh, are the okay. instructions for the original game, so we have to kind of okay, gotcha. figure out... There's only two punches in this game. A normal... A, a jab, I think a jab, and a face punch. Not sure. Okay, next next one. Uh, you cannot win by decision. It? it is... Piston Honda. Okay. Piston Honda is the last match of the minor circuit. He replaces Piston Hurricane from the arcade game, and he has a similar special punch. When he steps back, that's a signal that he will use the piston punches. Okay. His main telegraph is that he twitches an eyebrow before throwing a jab. Uh, As before, dodge the jab and hit him a few times. Dodge, okay. Yep. When he jumps back and does a little dance, yep. he's about to come at you with his Honda Rush. This is a flurry of punches, which is easy, easily blocked. However, if you... So you must pull down to block. There's no block in this. Okay. It's just dodge left and right. Okay. So I have to do that, I guess. Uh, if you hit him with a jab or body blow right when he jumps back into the center, as you can do against Glass Joe's Taunt, he will fall down and possibly KO. Okay. Honda is also very easy to counterpunch. Hit him anywhere when he wiggles his eyebrows and, the, and in the face when he pulls one hand back. And you can get in stars. Face when he pulls one hand back. Okay. Let's see. I don't think there's any stars in this. Oof. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got him when he was rushing me. Yes. So those are not points down there at the bottom. Those are counts. It's just the count, and it happens to be in the 10,000 <laughs> column. <laughs> yes. Yep. <laughs> eh. Oh, no, I started the next one. Okay. Oh. Help. Skip down to how you punch him. King Hippo. He has, okay, just a second. You're just going to have to wait for it. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh if my god, he raises god, his fist to it, he's about to punch. Uh, if he vibrates, opens his mouth, and goes for an overhead smash, give him a jab in his open mouth. If you do, his boxing shorts will drop and expose his bandaged navel. Repeatedly punch his bandage Damn it. up to eight times until he puts his pants up. Repeat this until you knock him down. Oh, oh, I only go back one. That's interesting. Ah. Timing so hard.
pauses for so long on some of those. It does look pretty good, Dan. Very good recreation. Yeah, got him. So if, it, uh, if I only go back one, that's good. Oh, no, he's back for more. Oh, no. It's going to stay down. I'm going to have to punch him in the stomach. I have no life left. Nine, ten. Good. <laughs> okay, well, let's start it again. Can you read the how to do King Hippo? Uh, King Hippo is not so tough once you know his secret. He has two telegraphs. If he raises a fist to his mouth, he's about to punch. Yeah. But it's the other telegraph you're interested in. He quickly vibrates, opens his mouth, and goes for the overhead smash. Yeah. Give him a jab to his open mouth. If you do, okay. his boxing shorts will drop and expose his bandaged navel. Repeatedly punch that bandage up to eight times until he pulls his pants up. Okay. Just repeat this process until you knock him down. He will fall back against the ropes and will be unable to get up. Okay. I didn't see him do um, that move, so I have to just wait for it. That's the overhead smash. Yeah. No, that's the punch. Okay, that's okay. a raise his hand to his face. He needs to do the dance for the other one. I don't think I can do anything to him. So the conventional wisdom is when you punch him in the head, he counterattacks. So you only pu you punch him in the face once after the wiggle dance, which he, he doesn't seem to have done yet. No. Oh my god. And then the belly. So it's head and then I don't know how you do a belly hit in this. Just normal hit, I guess. Come on, do your thing. Do your special move. Can't get any lands on you. What happens if you punch from the, when you pull down? Nothing. That doesn't do anything to him. But that's because he's guarding his belly. Yeah. Guess maybe that's all he has to cart. Oh, I died. Did very poor at the beginning. Okay, let's get back to him. We can do it. RC70 says, when his mouth is fully open, punch up once, then punch low a bunch of times. Okay. It stays in that spot so long. Thank you, RC70. simple. There's a, a large room of error for that punch. Oh, he's back. Oh my god. About to die. About to die. One tiny little sliver. Come on. Eight, nine. No! Oh, good. Then I go on. So he opens his mouth. I punch him mm -hmm. up and once, then up punch once low. Then... Okay. Yeah. I'll give it a try. Oh, he's not opening his mouth. There's his oh. mouth. Oh, okay. There's his mouth open. Oh. Uh, yep, there we go. Got it. Thank you. No, that wasn't. There it is. That's oh, up. Oh, damn it. That's what I've been missing. Head! <laughs> belly, 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 belly! Ah, oh, damn it. One or two more. I mean, before, you were getting nothing, so you're doing pretty good this time. Yeah. <laughs> 
far. Oh, no. You got to go one more time. Oh. Ah. Oh, okay. I've, I've got it now. I've got it now. Thank you, RC70. That's working perfectly. Oh, that one takes so long. Oh. Mm. So close, yes, so close. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh my god. Oh, back to glass, Joe. No. <laughs> get back up okay can do it Just, oh gets back up what are you doing? Damn it. oh my god doing terrible You, you, the problem is you're you got worse at dodging <laughs> i did <laughs> too concentrating on the pattern yeah gotta play more defensively go really good representation of the game so there's another um, homebrew boxing game um, AVGN KO, KO Boxing, and uh, that one's really good. It's got the whole pattern things as well. Okay, let's do this. Ah, oh, that one's so long. To wait even longer for that. Pauses are awkwardly long on the NES too, so that's another accurate re recreation. Yeah, yay! Okay, mouth open, punch him in the face. Ugh. see why it's a it's a pattern game yeah Damn it. Mm. the only thing to curse is uh, not dodging missing an opportunity is fine yeah 
Down you go. Never get back up. Okay, let's learn about the next person, which is Great Tiger. Not average tiger. Great, Great tiger. tiger. Starts the first round with a series of jabs. He has a telegraph for his jab that is a little difficult to see. The jewel of his turban will flash. But you'll have to watch closely because it's small and the color change isn't tremendous. Well, who knows what it'll look like on here. Um, alternatively, you can throw the high punch, which he will block and counter punch. Dodge his counter punch and get a high punch of your own. Okay, high punch dodge high punch again you only be get you only be able to get one punch in at a time for that okay following the fact that you can jab to make him counter punch if you block this counter punch instead of dodging it great tiger will be stunned there is no blocking in this so i don't know how that's going to work allowing you to get in five jabs you can keep doing this and maybe knock him down quickly after 60 seconds he will go into a series of uppercuts Hit him in the body. Hit him with a body shot in the direction he ducks down. There's no directions for hitting here. Um, and repeat with the opposite direction. As he switches every side. Oh boy. Uh, once you have three stars, there's no stars in this game. Uh, let him throw his uppercut, dodge it, then counter with a high punch, then an uppercut. Mm. Repeat this. I'm just gonna have to wing it i think there's so many things that don't exist in this game um at 2 30 in the first round he will disappear and do his magic routine that's what uh rc70 is waiting somewhat <laughs> problematic stereotype. your next fighter somewhat bro yes there there's some trouble in this game <laughs> can't is wait it? <laughs> mm. well some wearing a are. turban isn't problematic what maybe there's something else that there, I missed. there's a there's also a, a in the original arcade game there's a drunk russian in yeah, the but game is that I, that's acceptable right now because russia's on the outs <laughs> right now <laughs> and in parts of the 80s <laughs> um yeah. yeah yeah there's a bunch um and in super um punch out there's a canadian as well i can't remember his his things he does. I know he's dressed in a flannel shirt. You can't be uh, insulting to Canadians. I mean, you can be. You could be. You could. But so far, nobody has been. <laughs> They've tried. <laughs> They've tried. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Matt does magic routine. We'll see if that happens in here. It'd be very cool. Um, as soon as he disappears, hold D-pad to block. So you want to block. You'll see uh, him go... She's shadows of him going in a circle, pausing when you block his punch. Each time you block his punch, hold down D-pad to block the next one. After the fifth time you block, he will stand in the middle, dizzy and stunned. Hit him with a jab or uppercut, he will fall down. He will start the magician routine about round two and three, as well as 130 and 230 in each round. Okay, so... Oh, he does have a turban, so he, that may flash. Okay, I need to... Yeah, it is flashing there. Oh, wow, good recreation. Yeah. It's got a mustache. Like a visible mustache. That is awesome. Not doing well at blocking. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I was able to hit him a couple times, but... Uh... Just goes back to this guy, which is not as bad as other ones, as long as you get the timing down of his punch. Just have to wait a little bit, but not too long. Oh, I missed that one. Down you go. Oh, ah, Coco Savage, yikes. Mm. Bear Hugger, yes, that's the Canadian one. What is he all about? What's his stereotypes? The graphics are impressive being monochrome. I'm guessing this was done using the BB kernel. Maybe? Okay, so how do I... 
Okay, so I just need to dodge. But it's yep. tricky when you get the new ones because the timing of your dodge changes. Yes, completely different. This one's not too long. I'd say it's a medium. That one's long. We haven't seen his tornado yet. But is he the to... tornado guy? Yep. Oh, okay. Damn it! That one's very long. <laughs> oh, here it goes. Block. Oh, that's it. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! I almost got him. Gun down once. Okay, let's do it. I mean, we all like to succeed on the first try, but the only way you get good at it is by doing it over and over again. Oh, yeah. Which is why I never get good at any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't do it over and over again. Yeah. Just give up. Yeah, I, I mean, the whole thing I just said about it's nice to <laughs> succeed on the first try, like, that's my yeah. problem, is, like, not giving up on that. Down you go. The Canadian boxer should have been a lumberjacked sorry sar, yeah. Okay. Hmm. There's a medium one there. Ah, medium. Oh, when he ducks down, that's a very long one. Really long. <laughs> It's long enough that you can dodge twice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe I should dodge twice. It's almost that long. For the timing of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's the tornado, I guess. Yeah. But he only does it once, which is good. I don't know how to defend myself. I think I blocked it, but I don't. I don't know. Come on, ten. Come on, no. Oh damn it! <laughs> Did dodge twice that time. Okay, stay down. Stay down. Stay <laughs> down. We got to make it to the. No, oh, stay down. Be nothing. The game doesn't oh. care about your hopes <laughs> and dreams. That's right, it dashes them. That's all it does. It's all about the dashing of them. Stay down! Yes! Can you think of how much more excitement you would have had if you didn't stay down and you had to beat him again? That'd be a lot of excitement because I had no health left. Okay, we're on to the last guy. I made it. Oh my goodness. Cool recreation, that tornado. Yeah, it worked really well. It looked really good. He only went around once though, which. Good for me, but Super Macho Man. Um, if you lose to Super Macho Man, you will be knocked down to number three and have to face Don Flamenco, which they may have recreated that and send me back down to uh, the third person. We'll see, because I won't win on the first one. Super Macho Man probably isn't as hard as Mr. Sandman. That doesn't mean he's easy. Super Macho Man is pretty much a souped up Soda Popinski. Um, he is much quicker, but is still easy enough to dodge his moves when you get used to his timing. He traded in Popitsky's jabs for two spin punches. The first will damage you greatly. You can tell when he's about to do this because he will stand still for a few seconds, blocking your punches but doing nothing else. Then we'll do a quick vibration that you need to dodge immediately, Okay, and the punch will miss you. After you knock him down, he will use the second type when he gets back up. This type of spin punch will knock you down immediately if it connects. Oh god. Again, because it's game over in this game. You don't get back up. 
Uh, again, he will stand inactive for a few seconds, but instead of vibrating, he will wind up. He's about to spin in place several times. When he flashes, dodge, then dodge each time before his punch reaches you. This isn't quite, isn't that challenging. Just dodge repeatedly in quick rhythm. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Don't bother counting your swings because the number of changes each time. Just wait till he stops. Then you can pound his face for as long as you can. Okay, so... He's going to stand still, vibrate. Then you dodge immediately. Um... so dead okay he's got two moves a long one I think I'm just going to dodge twice because that one's a short one Oh, I got one hitting him before, he, before <laughs> the game was over. That's funny. <laughs> well, it's got to go close. Okay. Okay, just knock back once. Okay. Just like all the other times. Yeah. It's funny how surprised you were. Well, in the, in the instructions. <laughs> or relieved. They, they relieved. relieved. He, he could have followed oh, the instructions yeah. and, and gone for more talk. What, what, uh, what was the old school version like? Um, Super NES. Uh, well, there's the there was the arcade version first, which right. was mind blowing. Um, it had a screen up above so everybody else can watch your fight, uh. and you were kind of over top the enemy, and you were a wire uh, wireframe. Oh character. yeah, okay. And this was and the Super NES one was well, NES. The, was was the first. Oh, the NES was the Mike Tyson version. Yes, okay. that's right. So the original one was Punch Out, and it was Mike Tyson. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. On the NES, it was branded Mike Tyson. On the arcade, there was no Mike Tyson. Oops. That's not what I'm supposed to do. I am supposed to dodge that. And in the NES, instead of a wireframe, they made them just a little, so you could see over top of them, like this. Tiny little guy. <laughs> Stay down! I kept him three times. You can close that. I can't quite read what. Just put a go on the X. Says a new season of Disenchanted is. Uh, oh, I'll yeah. let Tanya know. She likes that very bland cartoon. <laughs> We've been watching the whole one. Uh, one of the things is that it came out exactly like right after we got the projector. Okay. And so it was like notably one of the shows that was like there was like real value in having it fill your screen because mm. there's all this little these little details that. Yeah. Like a lot of a lot of things, you know, I mean, you know how it is. A lot of things you could watch on your phone and you miss nothing. Yeah. And then other things like having a big screen helps. And this this was a TV show, you know, format yeah. that having a big screen that was like you had value from it. And so we, we watched because that's kind of funny, but it's not like it's funny. it's not like it's not like killing me with laughter, no. but like we enjoyed it. Have you watched the new Futurama? Thumbs up. It's good. Very good. Good to very good. Huh? Yeah. Hundred percent. I've always Oh Disenchanted. Futurama? Darcy was talking about Disenchanted. Which Tanya loves. And I'm like, I leave the room because it's so boring. <laughs> uh how have you been liking Baldur's Gate? Three. Yeah, I like it. Yep. Um I have just reached the point. Damn it. I've I'm Basically, just reached a point where I haven't seen any like videos of it or anything like that because uh, I had been watching oh, some okay. videos, which was very helpful because um, it's the sort of game where, well, actually, it's just that it's a new game, and because it's new, 
I had no context for how important, like, do you have to min max? How much min maxing does it have to be? And right. How tight? What could? What is possible? You know. And when I start a game like that, whether it's rational or not, I feel like I gotta get it right the first time, or at least I don't know. Anyway, so I watched some videos of people playing, which was fun. I think the game messed up, and I have infinite health. Oh. It's yeah, taking it off do. the bottom. Is it? Yeah, it is. That's. We're shortening the whole thing. I'm gonna sides. win the game. <laughs> Maybe well, you've been cheated. You can't win the game now. <laughs> You already lost. You found a bug, yeah. yeah. How about you? Are you enjoying Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 3? Oh yeah, really good. Just the detail that they've included in the game, like every everything has stats and like there's yeah. so many unique items every character in the game has its own voice its own look like there's not like some games are very repeaty because it's a ton of work to make um an expense to make everything absolutely individual um it's huge it's it's really nice looking yeah um at first i was like oh this is kind of on rails a bit but after a while you feel okay the rails are fine like it, it confines you it's not like um elder scrolls um like um any of them where you can just jump and jump and jump to anywhere you want and if you get stuck well that's your fault you jumped into it this is like no there are clear boundaries you can't yep. go past but you can do lots of things in different orders and and the, the miss things and, and you can up things you can, just like all the sort of sandboxy games you yeah. can com you all you have to do is survive and progress yeah and there's only a few times where if you do it wrong the game ends like yeah. if you anger a god or something like that then you might mm -hmm. you might uh end yourself um but like generally speaking there's no like wrong way to have survived and carried on. No, you know? not in this one. It's like, oh, but you like, just don't get the yeah. thing, the big reward. You don't maybe. get that reward. Yeah. But but in some cases, you did it differently, so you get something else. Maybe. I don't know. I, yeah. Yeah. And it's neat. It just yeah, feels like, like there's so much effort put into the game. Like, well, they just... baited it for like three years. Yeah. Like and, and... like the stuff the stuff I've I've only just reached the point where I am in i will soon i haven't even gotten there yet i don't think yeah. i don't know where the cutoff is because i i didn't play it but like have you most of what i've done if not all i've done was available for the last three years <laughs> oh <okay. laughs> yeah um yeah it's super awesome and the fact that depending on who you use to talk to somebody else yeah and who you use to do certain things it results in completely different outcomes yeah. different dialogues it's it is weird astounding. like 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 the the classes i started off with the sorcerer because i heard that they were good and i'm inclined to play a wizard or sorcerer that's what with tanya him. does too i get the big sword and i go smash that's that's my other inclination smash. like if i play regular dungeons and dragons i either play like a bog standard fighter yeah or a wizard of some yeah. sort wizard or sorcerer yeah anyway so i did that and then and people were talking about how they were like tough and but i'm sure that they are oh but yeah, then yeah. like they are they go smash i reached level <laughs> five I mean, I and suddenly, things. not only were the melee people doing most of the damage like they had been the whole time, but now they were doing twice the damage they were before. <laughs> and yes. my sorcerer, which I probably just built wrong and was doing mm. wrong, but my sorcerer was like, oh, I will touch somebody and I will, I have participated. But really, it was like the berserker and the fighter. And so I was like, so I respect my character as a berserker. I was like, the berserker. Or my cleric so goes, like, need a sandwich? Go crazy and kill everything. And I thought, well, why, why not have two kill everything? And so I, that's what I did. That's, and then recently I, I ditched I the cleric because, oh, again, what? I'm probably doing her wrong. But like... Healer. They, they need to stick around and heal and throw The things. heals are so... Like, from my perspective, the heals are the, so weak... They're pretty weak. That it's like... Having someone else to kill stuff quicker 
is way better than getting a few extra hit points. And it really, <laughs> so you, yeah. there are other ways to get, yeah. Uh, so I brought what's his face, the rogue, in. Yeah. And, but I don't play him properly. I, because I haven't been using him and haven't been trying to min max him, I, I don't have the patience to put the effort into making him good. I think he's probably awesome uh, for, for things, but I think you have to like play him, right? Yeah. And so uh, I don't know who else to put in there. But like, if I could have all melee, that would be fun just because it's all melee. <laughs> and that is what I have right now. That's kind of why he's oh, really? there. The two barbarians but and a made, fighter. But who did you make your main character? A wizard. He was yeah, but I respect to barbarian. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is funny, but I was like, eh, if Carlac uh, is that a so you have a four, yeah, so you four can do thugs it. roaming the countryside. Well, one of them's Smashing. a thug. One of them is is a, a fighter. She's yeah. I don't know if you could describe her as a thug. Yeah, but yeah, she smashes punch thugs, wizard. Like, punch wizard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have a wizard. But here's a what's cleric me. and two yeah. thugs. Here's what sold me on the Barbarian. Yeah. So, first time using her, she's on a balcony. I press she the button. pounds the crap out of a thing, yeah. and then she's like, oh, picks up the <gasps> thing and throws it at somebody else, I've never kills the that. thing you've thrown, and knocks down the thing you've hit and like does tons of damage to the thing you hit. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> I need to throw somebody next time. <laughs> and, I haven't thrown somebody And yet. then she was hit something twice, then pick it up and throw it at something. It was just, I was just like, oh, I don't even care if this is... I don't even care if there's a better way to do this. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. I want to do this twice per combat round. So I have two barbarians. And I saw, I think I saw this video of someone who was playing, f they had four halfling barbarians. Because you can use the undead guy to get, I, I don't know how that works, but yeah. presumably you can use that to get other people. Reroll. Or maybe it was multiplayer, I don't know. Yeah, Might have been multiplayer because they had four barbarians in the opening sequence. Have you played online multiplayer? Yet? Not yet. No. Okay, we'll have to do that. Sure, yeah. This weekend, maybe. Sure. And there's some... There's a local multiplayer, too? I haven't done that. Apparently, you can, like, split screen with up to four people. Hmm. I, at one time, we accidentally did it, and half the screen was, like, somebody else. And I was like, what's going on? Reboot. You yeah. win! I win! I cheated. But I won! Well, I didn't cheat. The game messed up. But I won. You took advantage of... Uh, you exploited I, an exploit. But I think I could win. You exploited a bug. Yeah. Exploited a bug. I just kept playing. Mm -hmm. um, very good. Very, very good game. Yep. Um, really uh, really good. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really yeah. good representation of Punch-Out, yeah. even with the limited types of punches. So, here's a question. Yep. Uh, from the perspective of more bad guys, yeah. what's the limitation to keep there from being more bad guys? Is it just... Space, space, and yeah. it is in it. So, is the limitation that this is like this is like a? Let me look it up. I think old it's school like four K or something. No, no, no way, no way, no way. <laughs> this is like thirty two for sure at least. Okay, or maybe sixteen. Depends. Let's see. What do I? What do I have here? No, it's thirty two K game. And Probably what's the Batari limitation basic. there? Um, Can you do sixty four? Uh, I that don't think so. says no. I don't think so with Guitari <laughs> with Basic. Oh, uh, okay. Um, with 32K, I would expect he could probably add in more characters. Um, because all there is is the character data yeah. and the frames of animation, which is quite a few in this game. Yeah. Um, the logic in terms of how much health they have, uh, but that, that, their damage they do. Is that a lot? Is that a lot? Are those variables a, a lot of memory? The the graphic data... That not, seems like it would be a lot. It's not too much, okay. no. But I would think that the stats, like this many hit points... <laughs> That's uh, nothing. This much waiting between when it does this animation it's, and when it punches it, your lights out. Yeah, it's the more the logic. Oh, that takes more? Yeah, because... Oh, okay. he, like, especially like the guys Oh, yeah, the logic move, would take more. Yeah, the yeah. move around the screen, too. Like, you have to say, oh, where does he move? How fast does he move? Uh, what can I do while he's moving with this specific characters? Oh, you can do 64k carts in Batari Basic. Okay, he's got tons of room then. If he's got <clears throat> five characters already in this, he could probably add a lot more because one of the banks would be like the title screen yeah, yeah. of this. And that's like a 4k title screen. Yeah. And each of these characters might be like two 4k banks for different parts of the fighting. Like, it could be the fighting where he's just standing there. 
And then the other 4K is when he's doing his special move. And the logic goes into that. Um, but still limited to having the kernel plus all the graphics in the last 4K bank. Oh. What? You can, uh, there's only one kernel in um, Atari Basic. And it has to be in the last 4K. And all the graphics in the last 4K. Wow. Okay. So maybe you might not be able to expand. So logic data can be outside of that 4K bank, but just not graphics or uh, your okay. kernel. But his kernel looks the same, like very similar. Like a kernel is like the basic, the basics of your... Of yeah. Your, and it's always the same. It's got yeah. the same score at the bottom. You're the same, same health. And it's just the graphics. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And just the graphics. But he says the graphics are also stored in that 4K. And he may have hit the limit mm -hmm. um, of it. Um, regardless, even if it's only five characters, that's still really, really good. Um, he could repeat the other four with like different logic, like different punching if it doesn't yeah. involve more graphics. The, the graphics of the fighters is so good yeah. that it's you wouldn't want to lose any of that to have more bosses. Because no. then you would like you would be taking away what makes it because extra like it's the graphics are good enough you know what you're seeing yeah and you're you not can, you're not like you can see their tells you yeah. can see little things in i them. mean you could do like you said that you could see the you mustache. could do it really abstract and be like oh when there's <laughs> there's a green block and when there's a little red block on the side that's the tell oh it's on the foot over here he's doing something you know what i mean like yeah. you could abstract it but you don't want to like with the avgn it's so good the way it is ko boxing avgn one it is in color it's all in color so you may, they may have not have used the Batari basic one. Given that there's no graphics apart from the characters, there may be more room left than you might think. Maybe. And they're black and white. Mm -hmm. So you don't need the color data either. It's just one color. Um, the enemies are, are two characters put together. So they're double wide. They're 16 wide. Um, you could even double that and make them like huge. Like two double characters maybe. But they're fine. They're a bit bigger than you. Really good representation. Um, just needs to fix the jitter, um, which he had trouble on in his other game, um, which he did fix. Uh, Xanthium 2600. So I'll, I'll let him, I did let him know I was going to play it today. So if he watches this, hi. <laughs> um, it's by Maithen, Maithen Games. Uh, Xanthium is awesome. So if he fixes the jitter and tracks down the overflow bug, um, because it wrapped around, I'm assuming past 255 but it didn't do a check in between um going past zero so it went to negatives but then it thought it was a positive because it went so far around something like that who knows i don't know his code but uh make the mk edition where two out of three fighters are just palette swaps of another fighter yeah you could do that too um where the enemy all, all you have to do is do one code color code before you draw the enemy and then switch it back to black for your your uh, character, too. So that's pretty quick. But he would just be monochrome. Very good, a game. Very, very awesome. So, today we played Minigun Miner. Very difficult. Super awesome. Very challenging to, uh, to move around. Tank Maze. Good as well. A couple bugs still. Needs to be fixed. Uh, Golf 2600, uh, it's not done. Needs more holes because it kind of crashes on the fifth hole, sixth hole, fourth hole, something like that. And just uh, stops. And punch out, awesome. Very cool. Yep. Just some jitter and, uh, and just an overflow on your health bug. Yep. Um, yeah, they were all really good. All yeah. really good today, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that golf map should have a hole in it but <laughs> yes you're just putting around you're just at home just it's practicing putt it's good it's good for practice i guess you know that's true for timing Even like if how, it was how... real golf someone would come and kick you off the course They'd be like no you can't no you Stop. don't just get to hit the ball no. endlessly we hit you with our clubs if you don't stop hitting your ball with the club yeah, at a certain point. <laughs> we have weapons built in. I'm guessing. I've never played golf. <laughs> so let's let's try and fix that um, cat bug. Cats are looking very expectant over there. Um, okay, betting. 
Today we'll be teaching you everything you know, uh, wager loyal points, um, what is betting, how to create a bet, which I did already, settings, title, well I did all these things, title, you can have a countdown timer, but we don't have a timer, we have it based on cats finishing their game, uh, reward multiplier is one, uh, we did done, click start, which it worked, this is the problem, it's not getting this. The bot will let you know your viewers. No, oh, you're not seeing this. There you go. Uh, know through the chat the bet has started and how the bets can place by using bet. And people were doing it properly. It just wasn't registering it. Mm -hmm. But then at the top of the screen, it said, hey, you need to uh, mod your stream labs, which I did. Mm -hmm. And it said that it worked. It worked. But it's still a uh, minigun miner looks like a good candidate for the high score club. Oh, yes, definitely for a high score. That would work. It's definitely the... Uh, there's always more than one reason why the specific thing that is going on isn't working. Um, it's never one problem. No, it's always one... Multiple oh, problems. Oh, well, obviously it wouldn't work if I do this. It's, Fix the thing. Still doesn't work. Still doesn't ah! work. <laughs> like, I don't know how they manage to pile up all on the same thing, but they, they do. Is this, is this it? Channel points predictions. I'm not a, I'm not a partner or affiliate. Is that why? Well, I'm not using this one. This is why I didn't use this one because I'm not a partner. I need, <laughs> I need an absurd amount of viewers <laughs> for our community, let's say, to become a partner. You have to have 75 people watching simultaneously on oh, average. Like on average. Yeah. yeah. And, um, which I don't have, which I won't have anytime soon. Um, I just need to get. Are you an affiliate? Um, I am, uh, whatever. NABC says, thought oh, you were an affiliate. Below partner? Is that an affiliate? Partner and affiliate. What am I? Let's, let me check it out. Negative. I am a meat, meat popsicle. popsicle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably a meat popsicle. Uh, I am. Yes, I'm an affiliate. So okay. You can get it, oh, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do it, y'all. Initial setup for predictions. Okay, let's bring that up. I won't be showing you that, but stream manager, creator dashboard. Plus icon under quick, under quick actions. Well, that's, whenever I do this, whenever I follow instructions, it's like, oh, try and find the menu option. Because it's not here. <laughs> Edit stream info. I bet I can find that. But it's going to be under something else because they never update. Pages never update their instructions when they... Um, when they change things around. They always forget that. Featured clips. No! Uh, moments. Copyright claims manager. Settings. Is that it? No. Channel. Moderation. Stream survey. Affiliate. Yeah, I'm an affiliate. I just don't pay attention to that because the next one up is so absurdly huge raid channel what do you it? have to be to do to be an affiliate um just broadcast for a while let's look up the streamlabs betting it had something to do with betting id and not the name of the option hmm, betting id where is that where is this screen is this, oh, where is this? Edit stream info. Follower only chat, raid channel, quick actions. The stream manager. Okay, oh, I'm totally in the wrong spot, that's why. Stream manager, hooray! Okay, <laughs> maybe if I want red <laughs> and the plus icon. <laughs> under quick actions 
uh, locate start a prediction. Okay. Plus start a prediction. Where are you? Run a three minute ad break. Should I do that? <laughs> uh, start a prediction. Okay. I've added it in. Okay. Thank you. Whoever sent that. Oh, didn't even allow it. RC70 did. Okay, prediction. Creating and running predictions. Hi, Cap. What's the best pizza topping? Do I have to do this every time? Okay, who, who will win Bell Wars? Atari or Sprite? Okay, possible um, outcomes. Atari. Should I do it in lowercase? No. Sprite. Submission period. 30 seconds. Um, 30 seconds is long enough, you think? Maybe a minute? Minute. Yeah. Let's try Let's try. Well, for the test, seconds. you can pick whatever you want. Let's try 30 seconds. Uh, the streamer or mod will need to confirm the outcome within 24 hours of the end of the prediction window. Yeah, okay. Oh, got it. Who will win? Bell Wars. Atari or Sprite. Streamers can't cast a prediction on their own. Okay, click it. Everybody. Oh, oh, some people have clicked it. 20 versus 10, okay. Okay, it's working. Now, how does this work? I think counts down, two seconds remaining. Good. And then choose prediction outcome. Is this, okay, I get to choose an outcome? <gasps> there we go. But if you click it, people will lose points. That's right, okay. Fresh says, did not see anything. No, 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 I, I will. I'll do it, and then I click Atari, and then I go, oh, let's actually click Sprite, because it's probably going to be Sprite. And I go complete prediction. Prediction results is Sprite. Do people get things? Did you guys get something? See details. It's 50-50. 40 will go to Prow 7. Oh, did it work? Did you get some points? I guess this worked then. Oh, I lost. I see something, but I cannot bet. Oh, it's over. It's over. So I think, um, what did I, um, let's start a prediction. Oh, it remembers. Oh, that's good. So we'll definitely do it for a minute. That was really quick. Okay, let's, let's do the, let's do the treat time and um, do it for reals. Okay, somebody want to start a treat time? If you have the points. Let's dismiss that. Get rid of that. Biggest winner gets it's their name treat time. The top. Yum. Oh, it's yum, treat yum, time! Yum, RC70 yum. can spend some points. Here you go. You ready, cats? Now I don't have to use... Actually, this is, uh, this is good. Let's switch over to the cats. Cat can large. Reset the points. Cats are ready. Cats are meowing. Want to do, close the door? Now I spend it all on treat time. That's right. Okay. Uh, do you have to start the prediction thing first? Oh, yes, that's right. Just getting used to this. Mm -hmm. Just getting used to it. Okay. Now, are you, able, you guys able to spend as much as you want on it? Oh, I have to type it in. It didn't... Oh, previous prediction. There we go. Okay. But change the time. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay, we don't need to show that again. Okay. No, stream's still going. Refresh. Okay, predict. Start the predictions. 
100% on Atari, two people, two people on Sprite, three people on Atari. <laughs> Somebody spent 10,000 on Atari. Whoa, big spender. 90% Atari, 10% Sprite. 27 seconds left, three to three. So, yeah, it's at the top of the chat. It's so at the top of the chat. It. Yeah, I don't know how you guys are seeing it. And you click on... You click on something because we don't see what you guys exactly yeah. see. Oh, five to three for Sprite. Got one second left oh, and it is closed. Are. Okay. I don't see how to get in on this. Not for me, it ain't. Oh, huh, uh, weird. Okay. Well, that's something Lots of people did. Do. Irritating. Irritating. <laughs> Okay, ready? Ready, cats? And go! And Atari's off to a good start. He's got one ding in. Sprite has got it as well. One to one. Oh, Atari's got two points. Sprite is caught up. Two to two. He's crunching away. Oh, Atari's on it still today. Sprite is just trailing just behind. Oh, nope. Soft touch. Oh, Sprite pulls ahead. Uh oh, stolen Valor. Atari. Well, it's it's sort of a, a self screw. Sprite gets yeah, it is a self screw actually. Nope, not hard enough. Sprite gets another one. Six three. Atari is stealing and not hitting the bell hard enough. Nope, still not hard enough. Sprite is destroying. Come on, hit your bell. There we go. Four points for Atari. Four to seven. For Atari, Sprite is in the lead by three points. Another one for Sprite. Another one for Atari as well. Eight, four. One more for... Oh, Sprite is licking his paw. He's doing a soft ring. He's not getting it. Atari almost got Atari. Brings it up. Six, eight for Atari. Sprite is at... Oh, my God. It's fast and furious. at game point for Sprite. One more will win it. And a double ring for a final of 10 to 8 for Sprite. I put all my points on treats, Alan the Fur. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so now uh, it was 5 for Sprite, four, uh, 3 for Atari, 7.8 thousand points put on Sprite. And 10,000 put 10, on Atari. 10,000 on Atari. So here we go. Sprite won it. How does this work out? Uh, are you sure Sprite is the correct outcome? No, Viewers, no, get, get rid of the this. don't show this again. Oh, okay. Keep that. Yeah. Viewers who have not chosen the correct out outcome, who have chosen the correct out outcome, will be awarded 23,470 channel points. You will not be able to reverse your choice and will be end the prediction. Yes. There we go. Prediction results is Sprite. What else does it say? Dang, I lost 10,000. Let's see the details of this. Well, that's the same details. 23,470 will go to Al Nefer and four, four others. others. How do I it, see? Is it split? Oh. I don't know how it's split. Oh. Yeah, because that's more points. Is it like, do you get points... Are points in the pool more than the points put into the pool? I would Because it was only like about eight, seventeen, eighteen thousand 18,000 points. Mr. Zarner would bet 4,000 and got 7,422. Can somebody else post their points that they won as well? So it was 10,000 versus 13. Was it 13? Oh, okay. Then that is the amount. I thought that it was 10 versus 7 something. Then that, that, that. That adds up. So is it's div divvied out based on how much you you bet. The total amount goes in and it's split up. It's split amongst the people, and the amount you bet obviously is your share. This is the amount of your share. Okay, that's totally fair then. It takes all the channel points at the time of the bet. The winners get their bet pa back plus the loser pool. I tried to bet, but I'm not sure I did. I cannot see if I won. Uh, Al Nefer bet 7,800 and won 14,125. That seems right. Yeah, 
it's just lo lower than double of Mr. Zarnawoop's. So it looks like you get your percentage yeah. back. It would be crazy me, if it didn't work that way. But yeah, 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 it would be. It would be what I bought. I bet one, and then you would yeah. get all the rest. Eighteen twenty nine for me when I bet a thousand on Sprite. This is so fun. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> now there's actual things happening with with the betting. I've wanted to do this for a long, long time, and um, now it works. Hooray! <laughs> So, folks out there, don't bet all your points. <laughs> um, I also added in some more um, uh, emotes as well. Um, where are they? Under ZPH. I've added in a Shaking Rage Reset, a uh, Cat Party, Glowing Cat Party, and I finally added in a, a, a ZPH one as well. I don't know why I didn't have that one before. Well, there are two of those, it seems. Yeah, I don't know why there's two. That's weird. So there's um, new icons that you can use for a rage reset. I like the one where it shakes better than just by itself. Um, I see the outcome notice, but whatever it is to join in, ah, uh, well, glitchy tech, probably wanting a foul of ad blocker and other things that make web browser barely tolerable. Ah, uh, yeah. I think, Thrust, what we could do is go with it. the BC uh, Gambling Association <laughs> thing. What, what, what is their... It's, it's, play uh, responsibly. It's play responsibly, but it's like, know your limit. Ah. Bet within it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's your own responsibility. <laughs> how do you... I don't... I didn't see how to... Um, alter that like it th there's no more options like there's no betting limit well the, be the betting for. limit might be how much how many points do you <laughs> have yeah i don't think you can limit it um let's see if this website the trick is that your bet is not based on well i guess that's always how it is your bet's based on how much goes in total uh yep yep but it's more your bet is your your winnings are based on what other people bet. Yes, even uh, like they, they're, the they're, losing they're, people. They're, yours is the multiplier, or yours yeah. is yours is one factor. But like if you bet ten thousand, and nobody bets against you, or just one you person, get all, oh. you get your money back plus the dollar they bet if you win. Yes, yeah, yes, and that's, that's right. essentially. Uh, how it's supposed to work illegal sport north of the border cat treat fighting <laughs> <laughs> it's virtual points so that you can't actually even do anything with them but bankrupt people cannot do treat time anymore and the winners might not always be there so don't bet i'll just tell people before so, betting don't bet all your stuff just bet a little bit or you could bet all your stuff and win huge yeah and then trigger all the treat times you want yeah <laughs> yeah how is rage reset animated it um it's just there it's under zero page homebrew um if you go to reactions and under zero page it's uh it's one of the ones listed i don't know why there's two zero pages thousand and normal huh, maybe i had it before i want to be a tree type <laughs> tree type tycoon <laughs> Oh, I see. It was just looking at frequently used. Yeah. Uh, don't take legal advice or use up all your points on a Twitch stream. <laughs> Gambling problem? No, I gamble good. It's the winning I have a problem with. <laughs> Which is all ZPH remotes. Emotes, yeah. Um, super cool. I can't wait to use it on the next stream when um, there's a ton it of It would people. be cool if you could... If I mean, it would be worth having like limits built into it but unless you can find something the other uh, one did have a limit the um, streamlabs one which i'm not going to use anymore because it doesn't work and this one but isn't this stream really cool because when Stream you did this it had a message from streamlabs uh did it no did it i didn't have any no go, scroll up just keep going until right there streamlabs Oh, no. oh, okay. That's something, That's something else. else. Never mind. It was yeah. just the timing. I'll be shutting down. I didn't read Streamlabs. it. I saw Streamlabs and I was like, oh. Because Streamlabs has their own OBS, uh, which has which has a bunch of built-in things, but I don't want all those built-in things. There's a bunch of junk too. I just I run OBS and um, this one I used is straight from Twitch. So there you go. Um, let's 
take a look at what's coming up on zero page before we leave you guys why are there two yeah that's what i was wondering they look the same i have to read i have to get rid of one of them one of the zph or make it move or something uh what's coming up Next episode, we're going to do uh, Atari 8-bit games, and it's a bunch from the same developer. They just released, like, 20 of their games all at once online that they've been working on for years. Um, and we're going to be playing some of them, uh, some of the cool, cooler ones that I like. Um, Zen Z Zenda Zuma, and his name's Zenda. Greedy Bat, Dark City Road, and Pac-Man Labyrinth. So that's on Tuesday. Um, and then we might be playing After Dark, uh, Bernie in the Tower of Doom, and RT for the 2023 Atari Homebrew High Score Contest. Um, but it might be postponed, so we might not do it. Depends on Dan, because I'm not, I like playing it right at the very end, which it's seeming like everybody wants to play it at the very end, because that's how contests work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or if you want practice, you would just practice at home and then submit your high scores. You wouldn't do it early so i i i hope you don't postpone it but we'll see um yeah we, well how quickly do you have to submit your score well i do it live right so it's a little but different if you're not doing me. it live you could just wait till the last second to submit it yeah so that people don't know and they will also watch the other submitted ones and they go oh i'm not good enough and then i gotta try harder try harder yeah <laughs> <laughs> zenda zuma isn't she dating tom holland yeah that is true uh, then possibly a Jaguar day, unless something else pops up, and then I don't have any else scheduled. But I'm going to put a light gun special day in there it's very soon. Um, we're going to be covering a bunch of the platforms and playing with the Atari light gun on a CRT down there. Um, and then we're off to PRGE, doing some live broadcasting from there. Um, and a bunch of other stuff. Like I mentioned before, Jaguar's 30th anniversary, classic gaming countdown. Three days of that in November. Uh, kicking it off on the exact anniversary date, I think. November 23rd. We'll see. So thanks for hanging out with us once again. And thank you for helping test out the treat time. We got it working. Thank you so much. Gamma Dev, RC7E. Dan ABC, Carl G, um, Thrust, Rendered Ghost, Chalcedony Mao, Al Nefer, Mr. Zarnawoof, uh, Prow7, who else? Uh, NES Freak, thank you for being a first time chatter. Uh, Kara G. It is. I'll never for I'll never remember that for next time if he talks. Um, but you get it once. Ka, because that doesn't look like ka in English. Um, Kiri G. That's probably as close as I'm gonna get it. Yeah, but when you see it <laughs> phonetically spelled, you pronounce it ka instead of ka, ka instead of kiri kiri g kiri g or whatever. You like you fast. Like maybe. you do kiri it. G. Like it's like k i h and k a h could sound the same Very if similar. you're not trying to ka kiriji yeah it could ki kiriji 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 yeah uh who else vitoko uh mistalu mistalu uh stream labs no <laughs> <laughs> ivory tower collections and everybody else who um was watching oh my god why is the why is this blank very hot not that hot uh oh thank you for letting me know it's only tarantino cam <laughs> uh now we'll be going back in time thanks for getting something giving me something to watch then my long work week take care all i'll let you take care as well and keep safe and uh we will see you on tuesday have a great weekend bye bye everyone bye bye <laughs>